Welcome to Top 4. My name is Peter. I'm an Arsenal fan. I'm joined by Remy. I'm a United fan. Yay, that's what we do. <laughs> I'm joined by Adrian, a Liverpool fan. I have Berini for president. Wait. Yeah, I'm, jo- <laughs> I'm joined by Robin, a Manchester United fan. Christopher Smalling. Wait. <sighs> I'm joined by Oscar, a Chelsea fan. Oscar deserves an Oscar. Wee. And I'm joined by David, an Arsenal fan. If you're listening to this, you just got bet 10k, black. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's kick things off at the Etihad. Um, Man City winning their fourth derby against Manchester United in a row. Um, Remy, Robin, what, talk to me about the performance. What do you think uh, of, of, your, of, your, of your team's yeah, performance on the week? Chris Smalling, yeah. what are you doing? Is it his fault? Yes. Is that why I you lost? I personally believe I it's put, his fault. I'll, I'll put 60% of the blame on him. Snap um, what? 82%. <laughs> 82. <laughs> there was still, there was still know, about 50 know, minutes do, left. Even with well, the 10 man that we had, I still thought we had a chance to score, but obviously finishes were a bit meh. Yeah. We could have done that. But I feel like if we had that 11th man, because all of us had to drop back, do you see a lot of you see people like you see Yanazai um, Fellaini passing his front because there's no one down there because everyone's moved back. Were you annoyed that Yanazai got taken off when the red card happened? Nope. Was he not the best player on your team at the time? Nah. Most I still think he's got a lot more development to do. Oh, he look, he's, he's but he, no, he is the future. Don't strong. don't get me wrong. To me anyway. He is the future. But right now he's a bit shaky. Yeah, but then the I just feel like because we lost one man, we've lost the opportunity to score. That's why I'm really mad because more like I just imagine Fangal just looking at him at the half time pitch and saying, Leave the stadium. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, he's okay. been calling a lot of people stupid lately. First it was that person. <laughs> <laughs> now it's small in. Yeah. I think especially at the Etihad, like with eleven men, it's hard to create chances and it's hard to, right, right. to score goals. Mm-hmm. So we still create chances because you see what Rooney did with that oh, I don't know who he not like. Why doesn't he finish oh, with I the know, left? Oh, I know, but I didn't finish it as well. So, it was, it was, oh, why I didn't, didn't he just I shoot? Didn't, I didn't know why he finished it. I was like Bang. That was like 2004 Rooney. Exactly. Oh, that. Yeah. Brilliant. You hit like, on red. I've not seen that Rooney for company, years. Sprinted and then... Uh, I was like, he didn't finish it. He just tried to pass. He like, had no. to put it on the right and finesse. <laughs> he was dying to finesse that. That, oh, that annoyed me. That annoyed yeah, me. I was like, we still create chances. And I feel like United, we are getting better. Yes, we are one point worse than last year. And people are going mad. Oh, four. No, You're three points worse. Is it three, points Is it three or four? four. No, four yeah. is one. But yeah, people go, no, no, no. Don't worry. We'll be, we're getting better. And that's why I'm still happy. I'm still happy that we lost 1 0. Fair result. That's what I'm saying. City were the better team. I'm not going to lie there. What? 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 No, 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 no. Hold on. I mean, I, check I this. Like at 10 men, team. yeah, when, when City got nervous, where did that come from? Why were they nervous at club. home? No, 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 no. They're I'm not saying. Club, <laughs> they're not a big club, but I'm saying in that match, they were the better team. No, I, 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 no, you know I, I, I like I like what Robin's saying because I think I think United had a good moment. Yeah. I don't think they were sick the whole game, but because their moment was so dangerous, it makes it they make them overlook the whole picture. Because even when when United went down to ten men, Yaya Torre came out of nowhere and just began playing his football <laughs> that we that we know him to play. But um, but United's chances were dangerous. I mean, Fellaini's header in the box. Yeah, that if, was if that, if that doesn't touch his shoulder, that are was we talking one one? Could United have gone on and even yeah. won the game? Who yeah, knows? City should have had about three penalties. Yeah, first half. Yeah. I mean, that first yeah. half was unbelievable. <laughs> Not even just the fact. The, the worst one was the Aguero one in the second half. Aguero. He's uh, running. He's running like away from goal in the box. Not away yeah. from goal. Oh, he's running towards oh, the centre of the goal, but it's like away almost yeah, like, facing oh, yeah. the other side. Is that the one where Fellaini makes sure yeah. that he's? Yeah. 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 He, got, he got fouled first, Afterwards. but I think it was Carrick, and then Fellaini just takes him out. Takes him out. I love what Fellaini did. He was like, get out. <laughs> yeah, no, even the first I thought Yaya's yeah, yeah. one was the most deliberate yeah, of all penalties was, from behind that was a pen. in the penalty area. I, 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 I don't know, man. I think I think the Yaya Torre one was a bit. Mm, I'll ask you a why. Big man as well. That's why with Yaya Torre, anytime he goes down the box, I, I, it, won't, it won't be a penalty. Yet. I don't no, I feel like because he is big, big to bring him down, you've got to do a lot. Yeah, that's the thing. He didn't do a lot. Who is? I think it was Rojo tackling him. He didn't do that. Rojo's a reckless player. I love him. It wasn't a big reckless. I can't remember. But. Uh, you can see them given, do you know what I mean? So by that, I think United were almost a bit lucky why, to get question, off the hook. Why were City nervous? Even I got, I felt tense, and I don't support either club, but I was I tense know. watching. That I thinking, feel like because of the, what? the, the, the created chances and just no finishing, they couldn't hold the ball. I mean, Joe Hart and Joe Hart and company Manchester literally City, got them over the line. Club, I think for Manchester City, they had to win that game. Yeah, no, United for sure. Got a point, sure. Been delighted oh, that they pressure, were against Chelsea. Oh, you think there was more pressure? But they had ten men though. I'm talking yeah. about after the sending off. 
Because in the beginning of the game, it looked very controlled. Yeah. It looked very much like, you know, City will eventually score. It looked like it was one of those games. But you'd think after the sending off, it was City with 10 men. United playing at Old Trafford or something. It looked so different. I'm, I'm saying with, with Man City, yeah, Silver weren't mm. there, bro. And Silver didn't play. Silver weren't there. But what a finish from, them, what a finish from Aguero, though. It was a very yeah, good finish. Yeah. I mean, De Gea, De Gea was not letting much past him, and, but that was a very that good was finish. Well taken finish. What about Joe Hart's save? You know that debate we were having last week? Joe Hart, De Gea. Yeah, Joe, and De Gea's save yeah, from well. yeah. was a second, his second attempt. We literally jumped to the end of the goal, grabbed yeah. it, and I was yeah, like, both, both keepers were really good. Both keepers were quite good. Keepers, that was um, Aguero's 10th goal in 10 games. Yep, oh, top scorer. Okay. Are we talking top scorer at the end of the season? Between him and nah. Costa, are they going to have a shootout? It's still close Why at is, the moment. It's, it's too soon to I say. I think yeah. if, if Aguero stays fit, he's definitely going to be scoring more goals. I also, but I, I feel like someone's going to just say, you know what? Just take him out. Bun. <laughs> <laughs> just it, bun I mean, this and just always, take him out. He's always injured, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But if he, yeah. Stays, if he can stay fit, <laughs> yeah. I can't see him going through games without a game. Or without a goal, sorry. Fair, fair enough. Right. But yeah, like I said, City, better team. But they were nervous. And I feel like I said, we're getting there. We are getting there. We're getting better. We're getting better. Uh, Van yeah. Persie. Does, 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 Van, <laughs> does, Van Persie, does Van Persie merit a place if Farkao is fully fit? Does he merit a place no, in the first team? No, no, no. Here's who needs to come back. Carrick has to play in the team. No, Carrick yeah. was amazing in that match. Yeah. Props to Carrick in that match. Trav, you know when Van Persie made that run, yeah, it was in the first half to you. He's yeah. looking for that ball over the top. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bring yeah. Another player. I'm sitting there thinking, fam. There were yeah. many chances, but Van Persie, if he got the right ball, he would have been through and goal, one-on-one, and he would have scored. Man, Man United need a midfielder, centre-back, center back, or wingers. Mm-hmm. That's a whole team. That's a whole team. We don't need wingers. We don't need wingers. What wingers have you got? The to be fair, what what wingers do you have? To be fair, well, now, one, now, one, <laughs> one winger. Di Maria is fine on one. No, the thing is, now do you know what? You see, Di, now yeah, I was gonna say Di Maria has been playing out of position for the last two games. When I say out of position, right. I think his right. position is is you know when United have the three in midfield. Yeah. Yeah. When he's inside, when he's in one of the inside three in midfield, I think he plays unbelievable there, and he was showing it in his first couple of performances. Inside three, you know, like for example. If it's a four-three-three, yeah, you're inside your midfield three. He plays it among one of those that are. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so agreed. it's like it's behind agreed. the striker, but not that close. Agreed. Yeah. But then he's been playing on the wing lately. I think against West Brom and Man and City Chelsea, and bro. Chelsea, and he didn't really. For me, I haven't seen the effectiveness of Di Maria of the, over the last couple of games, and I feel like he's playing out of position. But because he has been proven on the left wing before, um, that's what you know. It's no brainer why. Like, but all these terrible. all these goals have come from the wing. Have they? Yeah, no, like the one that he, the one he scored against. I think they've no, got sorry, all of his assists have come from the wing. My bad. Oh. Like majority of his assists because he got an assist against. Oh, two, I remember he had two assists where he shot the ball yeah. and oh. it was like a cross. One against and QPR, one QPR. against Everton. Yeah, one where Farkas scored. That wasn't really the wing. It was more. Yeah. It was still central. It was still kind of central. But he plays inside, inside the left, rather than I on agree. the wing. Do you know what I mean? Like I it's not a Valencia position at all, but it's more his it. suited role. I didn't see it. Oh, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> One, I was reading an article, they just described him. They put, they put the edges of the centre-backs, the, the defence, yeah. Next to me, they just put clown. I was just like... Jamie, uh, Jamie Redknapp said, this is the worst back four you will ever see in a Man United shirt. Having having at one point Luke Shaw, McNair, Carrick and Valencia as the back four. Probably, probably. I mean, true. that at one point, so that was hilarious. Rojo's injured. How long? Did, how long did I heard. It, I've heard. I don't know how true is it. I heard three months. I, I, I heard three matches. Then I heard. Yeah. That's so, three matches. But then I'm hearing. Um, can I ask what's with, what, like, what is it with these <laughs> with these shoulder injuries where people have to take in oxygen? Because they even happened in the Sunderland game. Bro, bro. Oxygen. This, you dislocated, dislocated your shoulder. Your shoulder. Your, your friends come because no, I when I think of oxygen, I'm thinking, okay, this person's trying to no, breathe. No, they don't or give oxygen, they numb the pain, bro. They is it numbing the pain? They knock you out, bro. It's just, just to. Is that what it painful, is? Bro. Because it even happened in the Palace Sunderland game where is it a Van and Holt or something like that? Van and Holt, yeah. Yeah, he, no, he went down and painful, he, he had bro. one of those in his mouth. I was like, what the hell? What, to what to is this the, to do with the shoulder? Numb, to numb the pain. Numb bro. the pain. Bro. That was a, that was a horrible um, collision that he had. I mean, shoulder. I didn't even clock it was a shoulder when I first saw it. I was like, why is he on the floor? Like, just get up. Yeah, but so United's back four is just... It's, it's getting worse yep. before Tyler January. Blackett, yeah, Jerry, Tyler, Blackett, Ron Blas, Ron Blas, Tyler Blackett is your most what? experienced defender yeah. in the league this season. Fair, I, did, I did say a couple of weeks ago that when, when Tyler Blackett got our red card against Leicester, I said on the podcast that he's probably never going to play for United again yeah. simply because everyone's Everyone coming back. back yeah. But 
He's got Charles Aaron Rowe is injured. He's, he's the, he's the <laughs> so, most experienced centre back for Manchester United this season. So if he's going to be the defender under twenty one game. You're going to have McNair and then you're going to have yeah. Black hey, just... pick up Paddy McNair. He's Every good, match but... that he's come into, he's done well. No, he's done well. He's, well. he's so done well. He's got solidity. I don't care if he's playing he, well. I just want. I want a solid. He is quite solid. Ball. I just for what he's, he's been doing so far. Yeah, he's been quite solid. I don't know. Young, I, I don't know. Like, I think, I you think gotta give it time. The thing, about, wait the thing about a player like McNair is that if he makes a mistake, you can't even blame him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's Hence so, Blackett. He's yeah. So when, when Blackett got Same the red card, Blackett. it was just like, all right, like, oh, we expect you to make mistakes. But when you can so see the young, dance under whereas when you've got a player like uh, Rojo, if he makes a mistake, you're gonna be like, no, we paid a lot of money for you. Don't make mistakes. And, and even Rojo, I don't even want him playing centre back anymore. Yeah, I want him to play on the wing, left back or. Right do you drop Shaw? Yeah, I feel Shaw's sure. play is a bit overrated this season because he's been in that position yeah. a lot of times in the last couple yeah, of games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still feel Shaw like, yeah? wasn't worth the money in the first place. 18. Of course not. Southampton, course not. Southampton, course Southampton course like I said, I were good eight, because they were... Age, bro. I just, well, I looked at but him. How, how old is he? Like, 18. Good, I think he's turning 18? 19. Yeah, he's 18, but I think he's moving into 19 or whatever. I, mean, I, look, I looked at him. Like, like, oh, you thought he was like 24? Yeah. Nah, he's, he's a young no, kid. No, no, no. He, he's, he's, okay. a, he's a he's young he's, breed. He's, maybe, he's, maybe he's a project. Can, he's a project. I can come. That's what he is. Because I feel like. so bad. What's that? That you just said he's a project. He's probably a project. He's paid 27 million. But you paid 27 million. Yeah. And I know he's not worth the money. And he's the only left back. He's the only one. How can you only left back be a project? Getting rid of Evra and Vinicius. This is what I'm saying. 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 Let me ask you a question, Remy. Um, Van Gaal said, you know, give me three months. Um, we'll see how... how, uh, how, how <laughs> Did he actually say that? Yeah. Give he's, me he's, three months. He says he usually, months get, he usually takes him three months to get his team, you know, solid, firm and progressing from there. And he usually wins the league wherever he's good at doing it in that way. Um, this time. Let me. I'm not going to go on about the title because I think that's miles away. But top four is it still a possibility? Of course, definitely. Definitely, it's still. Early. How, how do you feel about Van Van Hal's, um tenure so far? Um, it's been all right. It's been okay. Although um, it's been less points than than. I mean, definitely. bear in mind, David Moyes was given 28 million last year. He spent that. This is the richest club now in England in English history in the Premier League. Yeah, talk yeah. to me. Um, um, Van Hal. It, it looks bad when you put the stats off, like yeah. of what David Moyes done, and now he and he would have been ahead. Yeah, yeah. At the same point as last season, but I think you know Van Gaal. He, he's taking he's taking his time. Uh, I don't know what he's writing down after the transfer games, <laughs> but I think once once he's on his iPad it gets or to that point <laughs> where everything will just gel. Once everything gels, then I can see Man United being one of the the toughest teams to beat, like Chelsea, like Real Madrid, like um, mm. Barcelona, those lot. So once it gels, so probably by the end of the season, I just think it's not, it's just nothing's like conc- concrete yet. It's like we're still sure. just at the foundation, building up again and um, getting all these players like, you know, Di Maria, um, players like Blind and the other people like Rojo, everyone else who came who came in over the summer. Yeah. They need time to Yeah, you just to, understand. To, to, to work, this is, so. for a lot of people, this is the first time in the Prem. But check this though. If he doesn't finish in the top four this season... Where do your where do your cards lie in regards to him being in or out? Another season. He's gonna go. what, he what's he the difference between that and David even, Moyes? Even Moyes. Way, I, I wasn't even a fan no, that he got Forget five Moyes. Away. Forget we're, Moyes. We're, we're what's the difference well. between that and AVB spending a hundred million at Tottenham and getting sacked because he didn't make top four? That's Tottenham. He spe- how much? How it's Manchester United. Manchester United. I think spent one hundred and fifty. Exactly. I mean, the reason that's my point. Yeah, it's the way. Exactly. Yes, remember, we were no, champions. No, no, no. But they were talking. They were talking that's about transition, same. yeah. And they got more points. It's about points if you're in a transitional stage. It is about points. That, look at the team in that, that time. He had, he had a better team than he's got this year. That's what I'm saying. It's more complete last year than it is this oh, year. Think about it. No, oh, yeah. Moyes. Oh, what do you think, think about United's team last year. I'm not saying it was better, but as in it was more complete. It was more structure. It had yeah. a goalie. It had a back four. But it had a recognised midfield. It, it had a good strike force. There was no tactics and there was no, the play was really poor. But so hasn't, hasn't Van Gaal made it worse? I think, I think in terms of the play, mm. the play's a lot more positive. The, the play's a lot better. Even though I, I did say before the intensity right. was lacking on Sunday. Right. Let me oh, ask you a question. Though. Don't you think Arsenal get criticised for that exact same thing? Pretty but football, think, but no points. But I think All possession, but no goals. With Arsenal, do you get what I mean? Your tenure has been years upon years it's like the same thing it has been repeated for how many years now no but it's not that's not true no, actually, because that, it, that it's point, not that, you know that, why I'm saying because it's, you, it's a different thing because the results to... might seem consistently that we don't win anything but we're playing this kind of way but it's only been recently when it's been that bad whereas prior we've been challenging but anyway yeah, um, sorry yeah, back to I didn't, I didn't want to lose your point there. you were saying that with at least with Van Gaal you're 
you're saying that you're playing better. Is it? There is something to look forward to. I think yeah, with with Moyes, the the team was was just poor in terms of actual quality. Now the quality is here. It's just getting Gen- them all to gel. Yeah, getting them all together. Was that poor quality? They won the league the year before, and you added Fellaini, and that back four has, and you had Mata. Now. It's just, I. Where's the back four? Where's <laughs> okay? The back four you ain't replaced that now. But yeah. the attacking, the attacking prowess. <laughs> Come on, you, I can just name Rooney, Falcao, and Van Persie, and you know what's it's like. But I mean, Rooney, Falcao, oh, sorry, Rooney, Van Persie, and Welbeck would have done the same job with Hernandez as well. It would have done the same job. But I, I mean, I just think that's you could, true. you could agree. I you could, no, I, I don't, I don't mind team, even when it when it does gel. When it does it gel, gel like it's going to take time. I don't know, and I just checked. It has been. It's been two full months and. A little bit of August, a little bit of November. Uh, it's coming up to three months. Yeah, the yeah. next five games, I don't see a tough ones um, in that. I, I in, think we've got, got Arsenal away. We've got Arsenal and Southampton yeah, away Arsenal in this next five. I, I don't see a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have no team for your team. What kind of fan uh, are you? What? No, he's, saying, he's, saying, he's, saying, he's cussing us. Yeah. I'm about to say it. Yeah, he's cussing I'm about us. I'm about to say it. Yeah, but, um, yeah, but in all seriousness, though, I'm about to yeah. say it. Yeah. 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 What? Um, but we can't I just think that it's... it's when it happens, it's just I'm waiting for that moment when the, it just it will. I gel. think it's farcical if if Van Gaal keeps his job when he's not made to talk. But then if, I think if, that's if you fire another manager and then you're just going to be in some cycle of giving. But one why did Moyes go? But then, but it's happened now. I, I, I yeah. wasn't a fan of it when it <laughs> nah, happened. I, I wasn't a fan. Yeah. Yeah. But mm. it's like saying, oh, if you, um, Arsenal got Klopp over over. You know, if Wenger left, you guys got Klopp. <laughs> then, then Klopp doesn't finish in the top four after you guys have done it for what twenty years in a row, or something mm. like that. And then, <laughs> and then you guys fire him. Well, yeah. well, well, there's no, there's no point. I think you got, you got to give Van Gaal time. I wanted, like I said before, I wanted Moyes to have time. Yeah, it didn't happen. It's done now. But Van Gaal can give some stability for the next couple of years, and then whoever comes next. The thing that's that's um, like difficult about Man United is that I've always said that from day one I thought United would make top four this season, but. Um, the way they've performed in these last two games is really like it's been good against City yeah. and against Chelsea. They haven't got completely battered in no, what, in ways that we thought they would, and they got a point against Chelsea. And only because of a red card, they they pretty much lost against City. But the problem with that is you can do that against those teams if you're going to win the small games. Right. If you're going to beat all the other teams in the league that are below that, you can you can afford to lose at yeah. City. You can afford to draw against Chelsea. But are Man United going to do that? Are Man United going to go to Palace next weekend and are they going to win? Or is it going to be another West Brom, another Burnley, another Swansea where they don't get a result? Yeah, that's I why think I, that's I'm really anticipating this game for um, for Saturday to see Crystal Palace Man at home. It's at home. Be, I mean, I think you'll be alright. Crystal Palace, that's what I'm saying. I want to, and also I want to see a good performance. Like The if, thing is, you know, with Crystal it, Palace, their last couple of games have been quite... Yeah, I mean, I think they're unlucky against Sunderland, but then again, Sunderland were top top players. They, you know, they did very well. But uh, Manchester United, anyway. Um, all in all, it's still a bit early. There's still time to come, but no, these injuries, not. Van Hal out. These yeah. <laughs> hashtag. Hey, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I just, I, I, for me, I feel sorry for Moyes. I just, I just, I just feel so sorry for Moyes. That's I just what it is. Justice for Moyes. Yeah. Moyes got anyway, talk, 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 talking on Moyes. Anyway, because at the end of the day, Remy, it comes down to this: Van Hal will only be compared to Moyes' team, and Moyes will only be compared to Fa- um, Alex Ferguson's team. And to be fair, Van Hal's style of play is not better than Ferguson's, but no one will ever bring that up. Do you get what I'm saying? So he's always going to be. What's his name? Moyes is the scapegoat. Speaking I of Moyes, so, yeah, go on. So yeah, I go. Think in general, yeah, yeah. You know, everyone's going to try and compare, but to to grow, mm. you can't keep looking back and saying, "Oh, it was better when so it was better when." Um, uh, so that's the same there. reason and for that's Moyes. What, that's what annoyed me about Moyes' ring because he was compared every single game. I remember sure, one time sure. he had his first champion. Um, sorry, I think it was his first year Champions League game, and it was like, "Oh, how's how how is it? Um, what's it called?" How's this? How's your first Champions League game? And then he was like, "You're gonna continue after me every single game of mine. It's gonna be my first game. It's his first <laughs> game versus Man United <laughs> versus like Crystal Palace versus Hull versus Burnley. Just leave him alone. Yeah. And let him do his job. So uh, you know, it's, he, he's That's, done now. Moyes was just like, he was just, he was one of them ones after Fergie was gone. Like, it's hard. Hard. It's, hard. It's, hard. it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Because Ferguson had a be... poor start to United's yeah. Yeah. career. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, first seven years. it takes time. It takes time. It takes time. It takes time. But um, David Moyes, anyway, is being linked to the Sociedad, Sociedad job. Um, he's been given a contract to whether or not he wants to say yes or no. So you have to. That's a that's a great youth team that they got in there. 
it's perfect for David Moyes and to revive his career. Speak Spanish, bro. Yeah, yeah. You, you learn it on, on, on the go. You know, you learn it on yeah, the go. How many managers just come to the Premier League and don't speak English? Well, so. you know, Pochettino just declared that he's not going to talk it for a year. And, and then, and then now, did, he's now he's doing it. He's doing he sounds well. stupid. So, so I, I get why he even stopped. But um, we'll, we'll move on to City real quickly. Um, you hear about tonight's Champions League game? They're, they're playing Cisco. Um yeah. CSK, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> but um, say Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. But um, have you heard about how they're going to fill the stadium today? Oh, dear, oh, one, two, two for one, one tickets. Yeah, they did that ages ago. Like, oh, their did last they? Champions League game, they were ab- their last home game against Roma, I think it was. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. when they were advertising it. They were for the next two one. for one for this game. For the Because they're okay. European. And, and they want to they they try to expand to 60,000. They're, they're, they're joking. They can't even fill up, what, 45, 40, 47? But it's in Champions League, though. I told you. Not, not in the Prem. It's in Champions but even in the No, because it's in the Champions League. I hear what you're saying, but because, you know, with... You see, you see, yeah, you see the fact. Well, no, I'm sure they fill up that one. They didn't fill up it's, Roma. it's just Roma it's teams like Roma and no, that. But it's it's been continued. This isn't the first time we've spoken about it. I agree. Roma was Roma's the last night like it's culminated. Yeah. But I've seen it for the past couple of years. See, you've been in the Champions League and do not. Not when Dortmund went there. Not when thing went there. When Dortmund, Madrid, Barca, and um, what's the other one? Uh, Bayern. When they went there, that was a packed house. So, so the people are not even going to see City. They're going to see. Yeah, they're going to see a big game. Well, that, but that's it. But you, you look at Liverpool for example. They've been in Champions League for a couple. Of years, the Real Madrid game was a massive one for them. So that you know what, we're going to see Real Madrid out of ground. We're going to see, yeah, yeah, but, Ludogrets, but Ludogrets was packed. Um, first go. Champions League game for like five years. Okay, Chelsea uh, versus Maribor. You didn't see MTC. My point is this: yeah, City's probably first Champions League year was probably like Liverpool's is right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it just got to that point of look, we're getting battered every Champions League game. It's hard to watch my team lose. It's hard. I mean, I get what you're saying. I, I know what you mean, but. It, uh, Leave, leave City alone, anyway. No, no, I don't think <laughs> have, it's, you heard, it's, have you heard about this transfer rumour that Frank Lampard will actually stay, stay. at Manchester mm-hmm. City um, and till, the the, till the end of the end of the season, giving him uh, 190 grand a week? I don't know how true this is, but I heard it was 90. 190 is what I got here. <laughs> so, according to the well Express, done, Lamps. milk it. Bam. According to the Express, <laughs> but um, City, I'll, I'll, we're still are they still not back? Are they still not? They're not on no, second gear, yet, are they? Silver is for a wrap. This this game is very. But how funny is it that, that that they win games and yet we still are not convinced? Yeah, because they've they set the bar. They've set a like a, a standard they over these last couple of years mm. of, of playing game. well. Maybe not Champions League games, but yeah. in the Premier League we've seen a, a good City. We we can't lie, even though we got we hate on them. <laughs> we know that they're when they turn up, it, it's it's over. So you know, yeah. I just think that I, lately I, they I haven't. They haven't gelled. motivation, bro. Yeah, I mean, anyway, they're trailing Chelsea. Who are top of the league at the moment? Um, a good win, home against QPR. Is that a West London derby? It's another derby there. Um, Oscar. Um, yeah, it was a good win. I, I mean, like the first half, it was a bit like it was all Chelsea. To be honest, mm. we should we should have. It was another one of them ones where you feel like we scored fantastic goal from Oscar. Like it's like no, every that, Chelsea. No, that, that goal. <laughs> Not better than Austin. I, um, I don't Not, like Chelsea. Not better than Austin's. <laughs> That goal, that goal was, know, Charlie, uh, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. was amazing. That goal, Austin, that goal. I know it was good. Austin's one was just like it, it just it trickled good. over the line. It was good. Well, Austin's. Austin, did you see the skill? Little, little you know, back the little, little, little back nah. nah. so, It looks. But Austin's one. I'm, there was a I'm, picture I'm, that I saw, and it looked like the ball was going bro, wide. Was this hilarious. always happens. Like, yeah. was it like so, Chelsea are scoring like really good goals every week? Yeah, like, with, they're just playing really well. Is Hazard rescuing you guys? Do you reckon? It's Hazard rescuing us. Mm. I think Hazard's been poor this season. I think I'm the only person that's watched Chelsea games and actually think... You're Hazard's not the only person. For the first few games, yeah. Fabregas was always better than him. I don't think Hazard was playing no, poor. I just think Fabregas has was, been... Yeah. Cool. I thought Fabregas yeah. has just been really good. It's good to yeah, because every, everyone's been talking about... Like I remember so, I saw somebody compare, I think it was Alexis Sanchez to Hazard. And they were saying that both of these two are on form and this is what Sanchez is doing. I'm like, Hazard is not on form. He only scored like penalties and stuff. Like, I mean... <laughs> when, ha- when Hazard gets into <laughs> he slots them in. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, he's a great penalty taker. Yeah, he's a good but penalty taker. I-, I think, to say that we're relying on Hazard, he hasn't, he- he's a great player, so when he does things, it seems like he's controlling the game, but he's not. Against QPR, mm-hmm. I mean, QPR had a lot of chances in that second half mm-hmm. where they probably could have, they, they, they equalised and they, they, they equalised, yeah. and they could have scored a number, <laughs> like, just after that. Yeah. So, I think there, is, there are still warning signs. I'm very annoyed that we didn't get a clean sheet, because... I can't remember the last time Chelsea got a clean sheet. I so. do want to say this though, Courtois for me, yeah. How old is the guy? I think is it twenty one? Twenty one or twenty two? Listen, this this guy is gonna be the best goalkeeper I think we're gonna see for a very, 
long he's time. So Do you know what? I love him. Yeah, I think yeah. he's an ama- I think he's and so he amazing. Up, I'm not gonna lie. He was doing this I can't deny like, talent. Blood. Listen, when it comes to ta- the guy is exceptional. You have to understand. Nah, he's fantastic. To, to win La Liga already at 21 years of age, being yeah, a Champions yeah, League final. Like I, like I hear that, but you, you need to see the way he saves even certain shots, the way he carries the ball, the way he commands his area, and he's not loud. He's just standard. He's a calm goalkeeper. You, it shows you don't need to be all this excited, hype, loud. You don't need to do that. The yeah, guy just up. does his thing. But anyway, guys, I was saying, um, Chelsea scored their second goal and yeah. it was a hazard penalty. Yeah. Was it a penalty? I don't think so. I don't think so. I but thought he got fouled. But, I thought um, he was running into the box and then Vargas just comes and puts his shoulder when they, into when the they, when they, when they Yeah, collide. Um, and he drops. I thought it was a blame. I mean, there's two things. I think, I, think, I think it was silly, yeah. I think it was silly for, for, for Vargas to do. But... I don't know, man. Calls, man. Those yeah. calls there are a bit odd, isn't it? Yeah. Same with me, me and like, the shoulder barges and stuff. Is uh, shoulder barges should, can't be penalty. Remember, remember, just, remember, to get a penalty, you, you had to chop someone, bro. We're talking chop. Scissor, man. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. I remember that, yeah. You know what I mean? The days of Adams and Keo, you had to punch him in the face to get a penalty. You know what I mean? You just tap someone. It's just... It's because nah, it's in there. Could right you imagine Keane in, in this league now? Roy Keane and Vieira in this league. Could you imagine? Could you ima- like you know so yap stam and all that? Just can never. Every other week. You can never. Um, ten minute cards a season. <laughs> uh, I can't which, which game it was? I don't, hmm. know, I don't know if it was yesterday's when I think it was um was it two players just got run for the ball um I can't even remember was it both I think uh I think it was ah I forgot him, I forgot him. but the point I was trying to make was that yeah, yeah. even doing you know running both running for the ball and trying yeah. to get the ball and trying to win a tussle. That's not even allowed anymore. That gets you get a card. So it says they need to allow tougher challenges to come through. Just let them come through, man. It's gone too much the other way now, man. Oscar Mourinho's comments about the crowd. He didn't realize there was a stadium <laughs> full of people uh, after a certain amount of minutes. You know, he did. So, like I mean, he, like, oh he, gosh, he turned around after 70 minutes and realised that there's a, oh, it's a full house. What's your views on, on what Mourinho had to say about his, his supporters? Does he have a right to say that? Um, yeah, he does. He does? Yeah, he has a complete go right for to it. say that. Because, I mean, how can, a te- how can you go watch a team and not support a team? Like, but is it the real, is it the, the real fans, can I say in quotation marks, that go to these games? No, I mean, I've been to Stamford Bridge plenty of times where I'm just like, come on. Like let's make mm. some noise. Let's <laughs> let's support. We do you start them? Do you start some chants? Huh? Do you get some of the chants going? I mean, <laughs> not myself. No, but I would always join in. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Sure, if there's sure. one going, I'm always I'm always. Oh, I'm, all, I'm all over. I remember one time I was over. I was I was in the um I was in the shed end and the Matthew Harden stand was making all the noise yeah. and they would start a chant and we're like so far away uh-huh. but we're trying to sing along. We're with talking their about opposite goals, yeah? Because yeah. my because our side is just so quiet. You hear things late as well. Like the yeah, e- yeah, echoes you, around yeah, and yeah, you, you hear it, it late. It's, it's, it's so you funny. To sing along to the it's end. so funny. And it's like when they've, they've done two verses, we're on the first verse. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I agree. I think people go to Stamford Bridge to just watch. There's a lot of tourists, there's a lot of Trust. rich people that are there to just be entertained. It's West London. And it's like, no, support the team. But isn't that, that the point I'm trying to make? As in, you know, when the prices are high, it means the local people, the. the I don't, how can the I put it? Hearts. The diehards, you know, they can't really afford to go to the games anymore. So yeah. it has to be tourists that come. And exactly a tourist that. is not going to know the William chant back in China. You know what I mean? They're going to come here, watch the game. They're going to see Hazard, Fabregas, they're happy. It's a theatre. They want to be entertained by yeah. them. It's true. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah for us, it's, ne- it's never... I mean, I've, I've, I've seen even some people, when a goal goes in, they don't even cheer. They just clap. Clap, yeah. And just round clap. applause, yeah. Clap that's, after you've cheered. That's, that's like, terrible. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Oh, I'm with you. Because I feel like it happens with the big teams. Though. I think City, United, Arsenal, I think they're all going um, through that. Go on. I'm not sure about United and Arsenal. Whoa. What are no, you not Arsenal. sure about? Whoa. About the, the silent claps. I don't no, know. at Arsenal it's silent because... I mean, United haven't had much clap about lately. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I, I agree with him because even at, at the Emirates, Highbury was a different scene I, altogether. Oh, I wish because, I went, oh. <laughs> honestly, you, you would have I loved to have gone to Highbury. Oh. But the thing is, it's because it was cheaper. It meant the guy who lives on Highbury Corner is coming to watch the game. You, got the, you know what I mean? But now it's like, listen, I serve a lot of customers at work where they're not from this country. And it amazes me how many people fly to watch a game and then fly back home. It amazes me. You know, like, if we wanted to go on holiday, we'd have to save up for time, say, make some money, let's go to New York, we'd go, we'd go a week there. Mate, people go from Canada to London, watch an Arsenal game, and bounce straight back next day. And that's just the lifestyle now. You will be so surprised at how many people are from North London 
that attend the Emirates? How many people from Manchester go to Old Trafford? How many people from, you know what I mean? Any, anywhere and everything. I think, because I think for me, the pricing is what's taken, it's forced the local fans, the younger people out of the club, out of the ground. Because older people, when you get like 60, you're not going to be cheering anymore. I mean, you're just going to watch the game. You've been watching it for years. But in that's, that's in my opinion. I understand that. But I felt like it was a bit harsh for Mourinho. I felt like Mourinho is the kind of man who, he can change the ticket price in there. He, he, he can, you know, he has license to do so. No, and so what, what he wants, okay, maybe because it's got Roman above that. I don't think the manager has, has that kind of power. Wenger, I think, could. I think if he turned around yeah, and said... Wenger runs off. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ferguson could have done it at United. Yeah, yeah those, could, those managers yeah. that have been there for a long yeah, time, fair. they run the club, pretty much. Fair but my, my point but is Mourinho's Mourinho, got so much Mourinho respect. Mourinho has a lot of power. Mourinho's Mourinho has got... Mourinho I don't really know about is. power. Oh, respect, no, 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 yes. No, no, no. I don't know about power, because Roman really, could turn around and just, just and flip like, that yeah. switch. Yeah, you never know that. I feel like at any moment, Roman could just say, all right, Mourinho lights off. Mourinho's like Mourinho and Chelsea some next, like, love story. It is. The way he came there three years, did his... Then they, you know, it they is, broke up, it is if it's got a Chelsea chairman, if it's got a Chelsea CEO, if it's got a guy who's from, you know, in Battersea, well, who's, who's watched Chelsea his whole life. No one has got a Russian billionaire owner who's thinking about how am I making money? Where's yeah, the Champions League? I, I agree with in? that, but it, I mean, Roman mm. has been there for over 10 years. Now. He does support he the club. He comes yeah, to course. Stamford Bridge, watches every game. Yeah. Like, I feel like does he, he watch really, the away games? I feel like he, well, no, he watches all the home games. Yeah, like, I mean, you're at home in league games. I always seen that. To be so fair, I, I, do, I do feel like. I mean, are you going to go to Palace and watch? Actually, that's a decent well, game. some people. Some people. <laughs> <laughs> some people uh, what's his name? What did I see the other day? I saw someone. Um, Ferguson was at Etihad. Ferguson was at Etihad. Um, yeah, it's still Manchester. No, I saw somebody the other day, and I was like, "Wow, oh, you travelled this far." I think it was Mike Ashley at Stoke. I was like, wow, you tr- well, okay, fair enough. Fair dues. Do but thing. I think I think the good thing about the Mourinho thing is that next <coughs> next game at Stamford Bridge, you're going to hear Chelsea fans a lot louder than they would have been. Chelsea play who at Stamford Bridge? No, next. it's not next week. Uh, we, we got Liverpool away, and then it's the then it's the uh, international break, so it'll be quite a while. Uh, um, congratulations to QPR. I think the performances are getting better. Would you Would you guys agree? Do you think? Um, do you, Do you think they could still survive? Yes, uh, I've said from day one, Harry's going to do it. No. They, they're nah, getting not, better, but not, not Harry, bro. You saw what happened with Liverpool. Cynical, cynical um, defending. Like at the end, mm. just keep the ball. Just keep the ball. But you know, um, giving two losing, goals to Liverpool. Losing, there, to Liverpool. Uh, mm. They went and beat Aston Villa, though. Sorry? They went and beat Aston Villa. Oh, yeah, they beat them. Fair enough. They beat them. Who they have this week? Chelsea again, and they played well. But I just think I think since the West Ham game, they've been all right. The, the, yeah, the it's games they've been. Game, right. You almost feel like. Oh, you can forgive them. You can forgive them because it was Liverpool, Chelsea it was Chelsea. You know what I mean? Was, you know what I mean? It was the, there were quite some tough games. Do you know what so, I mean? There were quite some tough games. But I mean, after yeah. that, I mean, it's I don't know. It's, I that it's the teams around. I just don't, them. I don't think be, that they're good enough. They at think, at who? Think uh, QPR. Good enough. Uh, and they're really going to rely on Austin a lot. He's finding his form, which is good. Um, yeah. But if he's if he's not on form, who have they got to rely on? True. Phillips. True. I, I hear uh, Jermaine Defoe could be making his way down in January, which will be a pretty decent signing. I think he's still Finnish. But um, so yeah, but uh, yeah, that's with that's with uh, Chelsea and QPR. Chelsea's still sitting on top. Um, we'll talk about the team. Uh, and they all, they go to Anfield. We'll talk about Liverpool. Uh, more woes. Um, Liverpool. 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 Question, Adrian, should it, Brendan Rodgers be sacked? Let's go for it. Let's go straight in. <laughs> Should he be sacked? Yes or no? The facts that I'm actually on my Twitter, on my timeline, and I'm yeah. seeing people even contemplate <laughs> suggesting it baffles me. Uh, uh, what happened at Newcastle? Newcastle. This is a <laughs> Newcastle United. Go. On. Don't know where to begin. Like in all my years of being a Liverpool fan, I've never been angry. Yeah. Fam, the, fam, the dark days of Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> The dark days of Kelly. Yes. The dark days of Kelly. You know he's a local legend. He's a legend. I'm saying Kelly. Oh, my. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, go on. You know when Liverpool were getting pipes every other week? I was was, was, about that Newcastle performance. (laughs) Oh, my goodness, yeah. That Newcastle performance was so cool. The defending for that goal. What was going on? Moreno's not a good signing. <laughs> I don't know what's... Oh, no, 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 no. He's had more than one bad I error. Mean, he's, he's, had, he's had two. He's had two crucial errors. Skirt all... Oh, oh, Jesus. Huh? Oh, mate. I'm trying to remember the other one he had. It was against, it, against City on his debut. Was it City's debut? Oh. And the Yovetic scored punishment. 
dealt with him. But um, yeah, what's 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 gonna happen over there? I mean, in terms of league form, you, you go to Chelsea at home this weekend. What what's what's not happening? Is it injuries? Is it what? Why is it not ticking at Anfield? Peter, do you know where it is? <laughs> Talk to me. In fact, can I have like, can I have like three minutes? <laughs> you go for it, mate. Can I systematically? You go for it. You go uh, let me for ask it. you guys a question. Mm-hmm. Who do you say is the best keeper in the league? Uh, Are we bad? This is a bit of a while. I'd, I'd go with Courtois. Right, right, right now. For now. Yeah. For now, for me. Uh, if, there's one more, if, I, if there's one I'm going to buy tomorrow, Courtois. So you say you've got your Courtois, your Lloris's... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, your your checks. Yeah, Mingale is nowhere near the debate. <laughs> <laughs> if if you're a team and you want to win the league, your keeper has to be in the debate. True, That's he's so got he's, he's got this true. Sunderland mentality where he feels he can come, he, can, <laughs> he feels that ah he can concede, and then God's player will give him a tap on the back. This is Liverpool football. <laughs> <laughs> ah, be my team, be my, be my team. Yeah, angers me. <laughs> but let me just, was he was he was he good at Sunderland or are we just seeing his for are we seeing him for who he really is? Because he was good at Sunderland. When he was bought, we all thought, yeah. that's a good signing. That's a, good, good that's a very good yeah. signing. No, no, no. So, so not, what do you think? I'm, 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 the slides. I'm not saying he's a bad keeper. Yeah. He's made some howlers. I'm not going to... I'm with he's you. He's not great. I, just, I don't think he's great. He's, he's okay. Courtois but... beats him in the Belgium side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hands says down. a lot. Like, he's not says a lot. Like, when Pepe Reina used to concede goals, yeah. man used to throw a tantrum. <laughs> we will be winning 3-0. Yeah. My man will start pushing our below. Like, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> now, you see, you see, you see, see Mingale conceding. It's like it's an everyday occurrence for him. Yeah. It's, it's like he knows what he's <laughs> doing. As, as for oh, yeah, our right back. Today. As for your right like back. Like, I only let one in today. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. I hear your defence is worse than it was last season. Fam. And you guys conceded 50 goals, uh, more than 50 goals towards the end of the season. And you can't win the league with that. But yeah, right back, you're saying. Oh, lack of right back. I look like Tim very loosely. <laughs> Um, Glenn Johnson, I, t- I tell you what, I tell you what, I used to be, I used to be a massive fan of this done. No, he had it, used to yeah. be revolutionary. The way he used to bomb, <laughs> bomb up and down that right hand side. Yeah. I mean, he, he used to beat, okay. he used to beat defenders for we'll fun. Tell the viewers that David is just choking. Oh, away. Yeah. Oh, some of us are in tears. Right now. Some of us are choking. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not a fan of the of the, of the Glenn. Fam, you get skipped for fun. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like you know, you know, you say you're playing bingo. <laughs> You have, to, you have to shout every time a winger skips him. Yeah. Fam, it's poor. <laughs> <laughs> poor. Who, who's the replacement right back at, at, at Liverpool? We've got a 20-year-old. Uh, 20 what, 20 what, what about Flanagan? Flanagan? What happened to Flan- Flanagan? Oh, no, no, he's out for a while. Oh, he's out for a while. Oh, he was yeah, That's a shame, because he, he looked good. He looked good. Yeah. Oh, well, at the back. Well, that's, that's <laughs> oh, like, we only started. Oh, we only done two positions. We only done two positions. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, it makes me sick, fam. We spent £38 million on Lovren and Sacco. <laughs> yes, that's what. No, it was a lot of money. It was, that's, what, that's what I'm gonna say. And they're both from the French league. Both of them were from the French league. Oh we'll no, go. sorry, my bad. Lovren was from Southampton. Prior to that, was prior to that was at Lyon. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. So gone. Yeah. Oh, Again, is Lovren another player who who did who looked good at Southampton and is it looking no, good at the top club? Don't get me wrong, he looks very what? good, mm. but not for twenty million quid. Sure, sure. Okay. So I, 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 say, I say put him next to Anka, I think he'll be alright. Yeah. Skirtle and Sacco are not good. Yeah. Fam. Skirtle, what what happened to Sacco? What happened to the French Sacco? Remember, Fam. you played for Sacco. You played for Sacco. He led that team. Yeah. Yeah. He led them and then got them to the World Cup. Oh. Two, Sacco different, was, was two funny. different Saccos. I don't know yeah. what's going on. Like what, what's that? what about the other one that you you lot bought last summer? Um, Elori. Yeah. Is it from Sporting Lisbon? Yeah, he's on loan at... Oh, God, he loaned him out. I believe. Nah, he, he looks at prospects physically. I don't know too much. Yeah, about I guess him. he's he's for the future probably. Yeah, that's um, what do you think of Balotelli, fam? No, nah, hold on, left back. Oh, 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 let's go left back. Go for the team yard. Go for this. Oh, well, we done. We've done the centre back, the goalie, the right back. <laughs> <laughs> we might as well just get through it quick. To be fair, to be fair to Moreno, personally, I, f- I think he's all right. Enrique think, has he just lost his position? What, what what's happened with him? Uh, his fitness has been diabolical oh, recently. I don't know. Fitness, yeah. Yeah, he looks like he can't run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seen him taking selfies in swimming pools and that. Oh. It's, it's not football anymore. Oh. <laughs> he's he's, he's winding down that contract, yeah? Um. Midfield. <laughs> Dropping Gerrard for the Champions League at the Bernabeu. Oh, I'd be mad. Oh, that's, a, that's another oh. topic. Right? Dropping that's Sterling. Another, Dropping Ballo. That's another topic. That's Tenderson. Another topic. Coutinho. Sorry, I just mentioned, I saw the best headline on the, um, on the train yesterday. I think it was on a Metro. And it said, um, will Brendan Rodgers burn a bow down? <laughs> <I was crying. laughs> uh, only one nil, but uh, 
Do you reckon your first team would have done a, had a better result, or do you think it would have been worse? Now you see, it's all hypotheticals currently. Yeah. The team that we set out, it wasn't that bad, and to be fair, they played what? well. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> the, team, the team wasn't that bad. I agree with you, but Brendan Rodgers completely threw that game. How do you go? Five of your best players are not on the bench. He did, he did I, said, I said this yesterday. I tweeted. I said what? if Basil had beaten Ludacris last last match day. Then he would have put out the best team because they would then have been yeah, I saw nine that points. Tweet. I saw you saying that. Because yeah. Basel only on six points, I think Liverpool just thought, "No, that's right. We, we win our last two games. We've got Basel and um, Ludogorets. Yeah, we can do it." Bro, I'm, I'm surprised so silly. you're not so furious. If would, Chelsea the went to the Bernabeu and played Salah, I would, I would cry. I would be so <laughs> mad. I'd be so mad. I don't I'd know because it's, <laughs> it's, it's a. Oh, no, no. It's one of them ones in my head. I'm thinking, okay, you're thinking about the Chelsea game, but you have two days to recover. We want more yeah. than two. More, they got more. Yeah. It's Chelsea who have less days. The oh, thing, is it Sunday game or Saturday? Saturday. 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 But the, 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 the game was Tuesday. Isn't the it? thing so. is, the thing is, for me, this Liverpool team got them in the Champions League. For then, for you to tell them you're not playing in this game, the Big thing that the thing that you got them for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At the same time, however, I do see the point of why am I going to risk a team playing my first team that I think we'll lose anyway? Because that's how he looked at it. He looked at it. Like, We're not going to win this. And that's that again is a that's very a dodgy very mentality. mentality. It's very, 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 very bad. You can't, you can't think well, like if that. If I was Dream, I'd be upset, bro. If you was who? I if I was Dream, imagine Sterling. Sterling. So imagine Sterling sitting there thinking, yo, I could be in a. If you drop Lana played in Bell Italian. Drop in Bell Italian and Henderson. Mourinho was at the. But I think. I laughed. I thought that. Gerard should have been saying. Sterling. Sterling should have been like. He should be the first person on the pitch. Like, hey. There was no reason to play that small team. Um, that. Uh, second team's all right. I tell you, must have been furious as well. <laughs> but then again, it's all his fault because he's the only one that's actually been. It's always his fault, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the, what, thing, yeah what, again, what, what's going on with Super Mario? What, what's the problem, Adrian? But c- sorry, sorry, to, I know you asked no. it, but sorry to chime in just there. I I feel like even the games that Balotelli has played, it's been poor from Liverpool's midfield. There's been no creativity. Like I watched that um, Liverpool versus West Brom. And I, like, watching that game, I just wanted to shoot myself. I couldn't. It was so. They had like it looked like they shoot yourself. Like, it was so <laughs> bad to watch. Like uh, Lallana scored a goal, which was alright, but it looked like there was a line, which was the West Brom defense, and there was no way Liverpool were going to get past it, even though they did eventually. Yeah. But Liverpool looked really poor. Like as a midfield. Yeah. I mean, I thank God Sanchez didn't go there. Oh my god! Because you lot were that close. That'd be top of the league now, isn't it? That'd be top of the league. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, did you not hear? In my opinion, I think it would have been a better replacement for Suarez. Yeah, Sanchez. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. There's something similar between the two that yeah. he does more than just strike the ball in the net. And oh, oh, thank I mean, that, god. The way you wanted, Rogers wanted them to be playing, yeah. I think he would have put him as well. But he said he wanted to come to London, so I'm happy. But what what needs to change at, at, at the current situation with Liverpool? Um, when I look at the squads as individuals, I don't think they're bad players, but they're not playing to their full potential. So you've got your likes of Hendo, Balotelli, they're not playing to where they need to be playing in order for us to mm. progress up the league. So I think it's a case of... Bad dudes, yeah. And also, <clears> another <throat> thing, I don't think Brendan knows he's, he's 11. Because one week is yeah. Lallana, yeah, next true. week is Coutinho, next week is Sterling, you know what I mean? So... I remember in May he sort of said he said that he doesn't want to risk the club going backwards by buying seven average players. He'd rather two or three top class players. I think he's mm. gone against his words and now <laughs> now, 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 now he's trying to force True. force players to play a system. Like for instance, I think Liverpool they were best with that four four two diamond team, okay. and then we buy Lazar Markovic for twenty million quid. He's a right winger. So 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 where's where's he gonna fit? Mm. So now sometimes we try and accommodate him. We play this dead four two three one. I don't know why we're playing it. You don't think it suits Liverpool? I think, uh, Liverpool, they've got a transfer committee. Bro. A transfer committee. Yeah. Meaning. So it's Rogers, managing director, okay. scout. I think one of the chairman was um, the Henry so or Werner, one yeah. of them guys. Yeah. Decided he should buy. So it's a collective decision. Yeah. So they wouldn't really sack him based on his transfer signings because they would have all had to agree. Yeah. I think it's too late to be talking about you know sacking him. I know it was poor managerial things saying. yesterday, but um, but Liverpool could fear going backwards. We're talking downhill. I think a good performance yesterday could have kick started their 
should and, and I don't even, even think, losing. I, don't I think, think they could so much. I was, think if they had an even game with Real Madrid and they lost one nil, it would have been like, yeah. oh, there's hope. In I the think I mean, no. the, the, the guys are the like, oh, they played well. No, they did well at no. containing Real Madrid. Yeah. They did yeah. well at winning the game. Paul yeah. Mercer yeah. said it was a one nil battering. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He called it a one nil battering. Real Madrid was playing. Ronaldo could have scored two or three goals. He was just chilling. There was one chance. I remember when he came over to his left foot and he just took it on his right, tried to put like. Pass it in, and then Carlos Torres stopped Man it. Like I was like, Man like Ronaldo's Cole. just toying with them. He's not even. It's like he's just. They're just playing. They're not. They're not. They weren't challenged. And that's like why you, you look at put on your best team, make mm. a good game out of it. Real Madrid maybe probably would have turned up uh, uh, better. It would have been played better than yesterday. They but it would have been. It, it I mean, still would have been a, a tough game. I still think good, it, it could have been a, a good battle. But these last. Good point. Um, but what about the fact that they'll have fresh players for Chelsea? Chelsea, who will be travelling away from home tonight, and then having to go to away at Liverpool. I guess a fresh Liverpool side. I think Liverpool will get a result. They're both weekend. in the same boat, I think. I reckon um, they could get a result. I think, let's be serious. I still, we're going to get predictions there, but I still think Chelsea are going to win that game, even yeah. if he's got a rested five of their players. So, I think, you play your, your best team. Mm. Chelsea are going to play against um, Maribor. Yes, yeah. tonight away. Away from home. And, and where's Maribor? Slovenia. Slovenia. <laughs> going further away. That's fans, man. So it's like, they're both in the same boat. Liverpool are even in a better position because it's a Tuesday game. So. The logic they True. just didn't. It, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't get it. Spain is not that yeah, far, but but I, I think for Chelsea, they they feel like they can play a weaker side. Chelsea are probably going to go to Maribor and play a weaker side. Do you know what I mean? Tonight, you mean? Yeah, I said I didn't say. It tonight. I thought you said tomorrow. No, I said play, they'll play. They'll play a weaker side. Oh, I thought you said tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. So, then so again, so yours is Maribor. This is the, we're talking about the Champions League winners there. Or something for Liverpool. I was, like, I was like, if you guys play a weaker side against Maribor. No, that, that's, I mean, that's a point, that's a point that I'm saying to back up Brendan, Brendan Rodgers' point, is that tonight we're probably not going to see maybe Diego Costa. We probably won't see a Hazard. We, he'll probably play, you know, like Salas, Scherler and that team because that team can go to Maribor and get a result. And then on Saturday, we've got a fresh Hazard, we've got a fresh whoever. You know what I mean? Mm. And I feel like Brendan maybe thought, let me counteract that by playing a weaker side. But if you look at the way that Man United played against Chelsea, like they got a point out of the game. And I just feel like if Liverpool could have tried to do something like that and get a point at, at the Bernabeu, it's a huge boost. But yeah. We'll didn't. see. We'll see. We'll see how they get on this weekend oh, anyway. They lose that it's game. Big oh, yeah. If they lose, they've got, um, they've got Ludogorets away. And Ludogorets have... They, they they're tough. Yeah, they're not, they're they not forced what two rounds of two and win. Right. So hey, look! Liverpool, Liverpool, Welcome to the Champions so League. This is this is the big boy league. This is what it's like. But um, just to leave you this one step for Liverpool, they've only scored one goal from open play this season. Can you remember what goal that was? No, in the Premier League. Sorry, in the Premier League. In the league, scored more than one goal. Open goal. No, from open play. Lallana scored. That was from open play. I remember he was West Brom in the league. Yeah, and he scored three. When Hendo, when Hendo flicked it, two of them were open play. Yeah, he's in Tottenham, bro. That's a great stat, Pete. Okay, I need to. I need to revise this. Probably like the last five games. I need to revise this. It's probably. It's probably got a timer. Five games. That stat is wrong. Sorry. No, no. I got it. I got it. Not open play. The last opening goal. Oh, so they've all behind. And that they've, was Lallana. They've, they've, no. No, no, no. That, that wasn't. The they weren't, game, they weren't one nil up against with Lallana, were they? Yeah, they were. Wait, Tottenham, you won how much? 3 0. Oh, damn. Let me find a stat. I'll find a stat somewhere else. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that flopped. Oh, that definitely flopped stats. indeed. Stats for them. Yeah, quick stats Bunch for them. Mania, but anyway. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> yeah. Um, we're moving on. Let's get the other top four club uh, Arsenal. <laughs> Um, getting a good 3 0 win oh, at home to Burnley on the Saturday. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought he was going to say Anderlecht. Um, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then last night they had the Anderlecht debacle. Shocker, bro. Um, going 3 0 up. Absolutely tactically, tactically clueless, according to Paul Merson. Um, <laughs> where would we be without Alexis Sanchez? I feel like I'm going to say this every week. I have a feeling we're going to say this every week. I don't know what to talk about, Burnley or Anderlecht. I, don't, I can't even remember Burnley anymore. It's been a race. Oh, Burnley, Burnley was just yeah, that was Burnley. I mean, that took forever to start yeah, as well. Yeah. One match a day, they didn't show one Burnley chance. That's how I'm guessing Arsenal just dominated that game. Also, Alexis so. Sanchez scored a header, even though he was short of the two defenders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before we yes. jump over there, yeah. In terms of no goals, Liverpool didn't have a shot on target against Real Madrid yesterday. Yeah, one, one. Mar- Mar- on target, 
it was it was like a tame shot, which considered uh, was two. Didn't the Lana have a shot though? Yeah, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, they had four shots over one on target. Another right. start. Back, back down back, the drain. <laughs> it goes down the drain. Down okay, how about this stats? Alexis Sanchez scores ahead of for Arsenal against I, I Burnley. Said, sorry, before mm-hmm. I said this before a couple a couple months ago. I said you need to start building the team more around Sanchez than um, than Ozil. I think it would be better if that was oh, done. Don't These last couple of games, talk, Sanchez has been at the forefront of it all. Hey, don't talk building that. the team a lot more around him. <laughs> He's getting him, no, getting him no, goals. Bro. Arsenal winning the games. Maybe not against no, them. But it's... I think I that's, that's a good shout, but with him more at the focal uh, point, which he has been these last couple of games, yeah. not just because of the goals, but the way that they're playing, you can see that they're oh, feeding him a, a lot as well as um, Welbeck. So do that more. Nah, bro, the like, goals, more goals. Ozil is assist king, bro. Don't know is is bro. is because is uh, Sanchez the best player in the league at the moment? No. Oh. Who's better than Sanchez this season? Corn. Who? Corn. Aguero. Aguero. Nah, I wouldn't go there. I mean. Fabregas. I wouldn't go there. I mean, Aguero, it's it's oh, it's not as okay. The stats are showing why, but how many assists has Aguero got this year? Well, here's the thing, though. Yeah, he's he's quite crucial. Who puts the ball in, in the net? That's the job. You can't be I asking mean, for assists from a striker. Well, that's, well, that's what's 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 what's, what's, stuff, what's right? Sanchez then? What what do you call Sanchez? What kind of player is he? Because well, no, no one knows where he is. Him a striker, is he but he's not. No one knows where he is. Udinese, he was a striker. At Barca, he was moved to the wing. In Chile, he's a striker. At Arsenal, he plays literally anywhere. What's his position? Two clubs that I've just named where is where he plays up front. Two, sorry, teams. That's where he plays up front. And then the other two, he plays more free of a role because you had Messi in one of them, to be fair. But, you know what I mean? So, that's the argument. But you look at how many goals he's got for Arsenal this year. I think he's got 10 overall this season. No, 11. Or 11. 11. 11 overall. How many assi- I think he's got about three or four assists. Uh, Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Better player in the league? Who? You last still saying Aguero? I don't like these conversations, but... <laughs> no, just as in, who's, who's been... You yeah, know, who's who's the most impressive? I, I, I think I'd, I'd say Sanchez. But yeah. the, the thing with Sanchez... Simply because last, it, I think it only came about from these last three weeks. Because it's... Oh, he's no, scored, no, no, he's no, been scoring since the beginning. No, I mean, he scored early, but no, because the last the last um, three, three weeks, he's got two goals. Sunderland, mm-hmm. I don't even know what to say about that yeah, game. Yeah, Those goals were gifted to him. Last week against Burnley. We get goals gifted a lot, though, and people still miss... We've been crying for these kind of strikers for years. How many Giroud chances have, has he missed in his, in his career? How many times have we seen Shamak and Benton put that ball right? Yeah, Welbeck was gifted one last night. Welbeck had been oh, given one as well. Oh, I so, I get what you mean about Sanchez in terms of how he's not been... I don't know, he just reminds me of the Suarez for Liverpool. I think for, I think for, he's for he's Arsenal. played at his height, yeah. I think like there's, still, there's still more to see. The, no, yeah, I just think the no, goals, no, no, these no. last couple of weeks, the goals have just come to him. I feel like yeah. he has, even then, he hasn't really got... So what's even even like Burnley, no, has, Sun, no, no Burnley and Sunderland, those goals are pretty much gifted. He took the game by the scruff of the neck, though, and that's what you need what in some teams. What was the game where um, Arsenal sort of won it in the last couple of minutes? Palace. You're thinking well, of Palace at, at, at the Emirates. Well, that was, that was, that was, uh, Sanchez got the assist for Welbeck's goal. That was Hull, 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, Sanchez is really good in that game as well. The game I think himself. for a player that's just come to the Premier League, we talk about how hard it is for players to adapt to the Premier League. He's just come for the first time and he scored 11 goals. Like, I'll that's give it to Sanchez, definitely. That's a season tally. It's, a hard, it's, a, it's hard to do that in the first year as well. In the first, and we're not even yeah, in no, December, you know? I mean, Aguero's been well. here. The you. clock's just changed, <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're, we're getting that testing time now. That's why, that's why I start to worry a little bit. But, um, Let's give it to well, him well, now, because by the end of the season, you won't be here. Because Zola, should he still be in the team? Oh, This guy has been on off form for quite a long time. I don't know how he still makes it. I don't know how he makes the first uh, team to the state. He's been Zola. really poor. His last Premier League goal came against Southampton in February. Mm-hmm. For, 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 for a top quality player, a long player, time ago. So, uh, so, so Santi Cazola get whole, Premier League. Premier League. Sorted. Oh, Premier League. Mm. Sorted. That's why he should have done. I think I play, I'm, I'm begging somebody to find out how many shots Cazola's missed <laughs> this season. <laughs> he must have had at least 20. He's had a lot of shots so this many. year. Every time I see him, he decides to take a shot. This is why, like, it reminds Ferguson, me of Ramsey a couple years back. Yeah, Ferguson knew when a player is just mm. when it keeps them until he's like. You reckon he's done? He still makes he still gets ahead of Matter in the Spanish team. There has to be a reason for that. Matt is a good player. How well? He's got a World Cup. He's got two European Championships. How dumb can this guy be? You know. You know what I'm saying, but uh, for me, it looked in that Burnley game. It looked like a it looked like it was going to be another a show reel for another goalkeeper that comes to the Emirates and has plays the game of his life. And we left it late, but 
it still came, it still happened. And, um, you know, at least we, 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 anyway, we're winning in the league. That's all right. We're back in, we're getting our little rhythm back in the league, which is good. Next game is away at Swansea. But last night, I don't know what on earth happened. What on earth happened? At home to Anderlecht, under no circumstance should that be happening. I was saying, you've been I'm with you. I relate it, I relate it back to the summer. So you think I relate it back to the summer. You think it's signings? Of course it's signings. Let me ask you a question. Don't we have young centre backs? Like, even under 21 centre backs? I'd rather have them than Monreal and Mertesacker in our back four. Honestly. I would have put Chambers in the middle and Bellerin on the three. I'd have put Bellerin on the three. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I would. I would have even had Isaac Hayden. Top lad. <laughs> I would have had him in there because Monreal and, and Mertesacker, I don't know what's going on with them two. Yeah. Was Monreal, Monreal and centre back? Yeah. Was Monreal and back? Back, well. Exactly. Well. Happens when you get injuries, isn't it? You force players out of position. Um, wait, so I, I agree. With... Yeah. And who's um? You who sold for Marlin. Oh, oh. they have only got two oh. out and out centre halves. We've got two centre halves. I, I agree with the whole centre back thing. Oh, sorry. When you, when you look at when you look at the wing backs as well, sorry, the, the full backs as mm. well, mm. like two of the goals came from poor like poor play from the wing back. Like yeah. the the first goal was like um, I think it was a jump on who ran like yeah. through. And then crossed it. Second, the third goal. Sorry, the, the I don't know who it was. Yeah. The Anderlecht Dorsky. player had a free, like he had a cr- it, the cross. Yeah, took like a, he had, a, had an hour to cross yeah, that ball. Yeah, like an hour. He it took an ages to cross it. But Dorsky just no, no, I'm not talking about the wing. I'm talking about the the defender. No, no, no. no you're saying you're, you're saying Gibbs, but the thing is, where the ball was crossed from was not even like yeah, on a wing it position. It was quite deep. To be it was quite that. deep. But Dorsky was the nearest guy to him. I mean, but my my point was that when when people say our Chambers should be playing in the centre, I think maybe Chambers is stronger. Like maybe you want to put your stronger players out on the wings as well as. Both goals came from there, though. Yeah. Like yeah. you're saying. Like, both of the goals we considered both came from, like, you're saying, the wing out position. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Right. Gibbs is looking left and right, seeing that his player is offside. Didn't know where he was. I mean, the first goal for Anderlecht was offside. Yeah. He's still got a two-goal cushion. He's still got to put that to bed. Yeah. And you see why Arteta is so valued at the club. The minute he came off, that's when everything went down. Who came on for him? Flamini. <laughs> <laughs> Flamini well, still kind of solid. No, yeah. he's, he's, he's nowhere near Arteta. I'm telling you. I'm telling you for real. Listen, he's nowhere near Arteta. Nowhere near him. And Arteta is only old. That's his. That's his deficiency. We are Arteta. We do. But yeah, it goes back to the transfer window. You know, he knew he had to sort his position, sort out centre back, sort out holding mid. We would have been all right. But I feel like we're gonna say that every week. Yeah. And we just look at what we have now and think, okay, what can Arsenal do? Yeah, but you got you had all summer. Like, what was you doing, Wenger? Like, you had all summer. Look, you lot thought I was just moaning, having a moan last time round. I'm like, look, for real, we're going to go into the league. You're telling me this is what's going to win the league? You lot thought I was just moaning for the sake? Nah, mate. Yeah. My dad always asks me. <laughs> you went out and bought a striker. I know, I know it's bad. We're always, we're always two positions behind or one position behind every season. Mm-hmm. We're always that behind every year. Do you get what I'm saying? I think like... Dead, I have, nothing, I have nothing more to say. The thing is, this, for this last night's result, though, you're 3-0 up. That's what gets me. Do you know I, I, That's what gets me. I, I, I know it's, it's annoying the way, the way it came about, but let's be serious. You guys won't win the group anyway. Dortmund were going to win that group. I don't know. If we won yesterday, if we won yesterday, we have to beat Dortmund at home. Dortmund's goal difference was is like 12. Yeah, but we have to beat... It's head-to-head. It's not about... This is what I'm trying to say. In the Champions League, goal difference counts when it's the head-to-head is equal. Oh, so you guys have to beat Dortmund at 3-0? Well, just win, innit? First, get the win. You know what I mean? Get the win. Get the win. This all this, you know... You well, say there's, that. There's also, there, there's also the idea that Dortmund could slip up in their last game as well. Against, against, against Anderlecht. I'm so. saying realistically, uh, Dortmund are through as well, aren't it? So, and Dortmund have had I a bad think, season, sorry. I think, yeah, they, they have had a bad season in the league. Oh, Joint bottom. In terms of the, um, Joint bottom in Germany. The Champions League. Dortmund were going to win that group. Arsenal coming second. Oh, you still, you still are going to do that. I don't think it was, no, as, I don't think it was as easy as that. I, I, I don't think it was as easy as that. I felt like... You said we're going to lose at Dortmund. Dortmund were going to come in with some BS, bro. I thought That's it was going to be, probably right? be a draw. Well, actually, I think Dortmund will win that game. I'm sorry. I, do I don't think know. Dortmund I felt like if we'd won last night, we would have had a, we would have gone out because we want to win the group and I felt like we would have gone out and beat Dortmund at home. 
I, I do agree with Remy in the sense that I, I do think Arsenal, it's, it's not that bad for Arsenal. Before the game, they were likely to finish second, and now you're still Oscar, like, the thing is, is that you're 3 0 so, up. Yeah, at yeah, the, Emirates. the game is awful, but the outcome there was, is there was not. 30 minutes to go. In that game, if the end result is getting to the round of 16, you're not gonna play Barcelona because look, exactly because last 16, we're gonna go face one of these big giants again. If you won 3 0, if you won 3 1, you're still gonna no, but there's a chance. The point is that there's a chance. The issue is when you lost to Dortmund, the issue is an Anderlecht. That's the thing. I no, the issue is is Anderlecht because even losing to Dortmund away was not necessarily out of out of you know, I mean, out of the norm. That sounds a bit all right. We beat them there away last year, Dortmund at home. We beat Dortmund at away last season. They beat us at home last season. We finished the same points as Dortmund last year. So, but that means you still have to win. You, you have to beat Dortmund like That's three 0 You have to beat them three 0 no, But it gives you the it gives you the chance. You give a chance because if we beat Dortmund next week, what does it mean? Yeah, We're through. Because, because, yeah, yeah. That's all it I means. Mean, it's better than what Liverpool are doing. Oh, why are we comparing to <laughs> another team to another group? I'm, I'm talking about Arsenal's Champions League run. I'm just, I'm That's all I'm concerned about. I'm, if you if the, the goal is to get to round sixteen, whether you come first or well, second, if you, get, you know, if you get Barcelona, if you get Bayern Munich, dead things, bro. How many times you get knocked That means you're basically that means you're you're giving up already. If you're, if you're still saying if you're still getting Remy, <laughs> Remy, wait, 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 Remy. If you're annoyed, if you're annoyed that you're gonna get Bayern Munich or, or Barcelona <laughs> in the next round, then already you're giving up. That you've lost the game already. No, but Remy, you have to understand. Have you not? Uh, yeah, have you not watched our recent Champions League performances? I'm watching it. I'm watching We've gone it. out of every last sixteen since two thousand and nine. <laughs> at the end of the day, oh. Remy. At the end of the day, they stop coming forth. Get, get, get higher so you can oh, get higher yeah. seeding. You know, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> listen, the seeding is not the issue because we are seed one even in this group right now. Exactly. Yes. Listen, Remy, you're not understanding. If we, point, listen, the you know, group, the thing man. is, is that if we beat Anderlecht three nil, three one, three two, even, yeah, we go to we Dortmund have to come here. And get a result to finish top. Do you understand? No, they have to get one. If you want one nil, don't we we'll still have? But then there's still another game to go. We still got to go to away. Still lose <laughs> we got to go to away to Galatasaray, and I think they got Anderlecht at home. Yeah. They still got another game to play, like we do. And when the when the nerves turn up, you never know. Yeah. You never. I, I still think it was more. It was more. This is that Brendan it's Rodgers mentality. Let's just turn up to the it's Bernabeu. Not, for, a, for a second team. <laughs> We're not going to win anyway. I'm saying, I'm saying, no, not that. I, I think. That, no, backwards thinking. My, no, 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 no. My, my point was that I just thought that obviously, obviously you guys should have won the game. And when I saw 3 3, I was shocked because I was watching the. Um, it's not Rumble acceptable. It's, it's not acceptable. But for me, in general, when I was thinking of the groups and whatnot, I didn't. For me, I didn't see Arsenal even t- top of the group. I didn't see you guys beating Dortmund uh, the first time. I don't see you guys beating them the second time. And I just don't think I, don't, I don't think that you guys are going to win the group. So I know. We, 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 were, we, we were like joint top last year with Dortmund and Napoli in that team, in that group. It was a hard group. Uh, the point I'm saying, I just didn't mm. think you guys were going to Fair enough. No, everyone's in the yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah, off arms. I, I, see, I see why. I, I understand why. But you're, gonna, you're still probably going to get through win the, through the next league. Venga <laughs> Venga needs to give this team. Anyway. Yes. If you want to win it, you're going to have to face hard teams. Round the sixteen. Listen, I don't mind. I don't mind finishing top, and then unluckily we get a Barcelona if they finish second. I don't mind that. Remy, I don't finishing top that. is real talk stuff. It's yeah, the only way. That's that's what that's what gets them guys in the semi finals. You don't you, listen. Yeah, a team that finishes look, second. Look at Chelsea's running the Champions League last season. Who we faced what PSG? I don't PSG was a tough team. That was quarterfinals. But Come that's on. who yeah, you want to face. That's an unproven Champions the, League exactly. team. I'm, I'm it was fresh and new. Saying, it mean, was exciting. So that was it. Get a hard team round of sixteen. But if you finish top, you get a hard team quarterfinals. I remember you flipped the whole. At least you're in the quarterfinals. You're in the quarter. That's what we're talking about. We're in the. The the, the the important but business you can, stage. The thing is, if you finish top, you can go all the way to the final without playing a really tough without team. Even, listen, uh, Remy, the last time we finished top yeah. in our group, yeah, in 2009, we played you in the semi-final. Man United in the semi-final. That tells you everything. The last the semi, time, yeah, the semi-final, the semi-final, I mean, semifinal is, it, is what we want. If you finish top, the semi-final is where it's hard. It's where it gets tough. Anything before that, I mean, you should... Top team should be winning. Yeah, we had like Villarreal's. We were having... Oh, Jesus. It was <laughs> Porto. It was a blessing. Bro, it was a, a, a blessing. <laughs> But mine's gonna play the the finalist in the round of sixteen. What is that about? Yeah, Why? Why are we always playing a, t- <laughs> a team that, a team that's always in the final or in the semi final? Because I swear we lose to the champions like every year. Trust me, bro. <laughs> yeah. Do you think this was like you had the potential to really? Because it was it was one less. Shall I tell you why? Because last year we, we were joint top with Dortmund, Napoli, and Marseille being the C two team. 
and we were seed one. So imagine Napoli were seed four, Dortmund were seed three. Yeah, so that was unlucky, first of all. Fair enough, all right, get, get on with it. You, you want to play for the Champions League, that's what we like. But the fact that we finished joint top with them, and then now it's just a less thing. Now we've got Galatasaray and Anderlecht. Come on, we've got to top the group. A fight to top the group. That's all I want. Fight and top it and tell me that you're serious. Wenger needs to give these guys a near fall. Anyway, Swansea away. If we play like that we did against Anderlecht, oh Lord, we're in big trouble. In big trouble. We're in big trouble because I remember what Boney did to Vermaelen last season at the Emirates. Beat him in the air. How dare you? And Sanya just let him, cr- let whoever it was cross that, give it, give it another half an hour to cross that ball as well. But anyway, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll move on from that. But yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> we, oh, yeah. we, could, we could always do that. Could always do that. But um, yeah, so you know, that's, that's just, that's just the way it goes. That's Champions League football for you. Manchester United are not in it. Just want to <laughs> just clarify that. Just make sure that you guys remember. Ooh, we'll see about that. Ooh, you're ninth in the Premier League. We'll see about that. Yeah. But I'll tell you what. Yeah, I'll tell you who's in the top four. Southampton. Another yeah. victory away at Hull. Top notch stuff. Wanyama, Wanyama scored from how many yards? I don't think it was that spectacular, but a good shot nonetheless. Come on. What? I mean, there was no technique in it. Listen, if we did a 45 yard goal challenge, yeah, to, to score from 45 yards, we'll score after like maybe 10 attempts. And he did it after one. Yep. Fair dues. In a game. Fair dues. In the third minute yeah. where everyone was a bit like. <laughs> Southampton still top. Let me ask you a question. Do you not know what their full name is? Oh, it's AFC. Oh, yeah, I know there's something. What's the A in that? What is association. The... Association. Not, not, not association. Hmm. Southampton Athletic. Athletic. It's not athletic either. Right. Albion. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's Academicals. <laughs> Southampton <laughs> Academicals Football Club. But anyway, I want to ask this question again every week. Mm-hmm. Will they finish in the top four? Yes. Oh, do you know will what? they stay no, here? No, no, no. Um, I, checked, I, I just some stats last week. Last week. In top do some stats for me there, Remy. Go on. I my stats last week. Um, yeah, this time last season, it, it didn't work because they won. So it, it, the gap's slightly bigger. But yeah, um, for match day nine, so before they played that game, <laughs> last season compared to this season, they were one... Th- yeah, sorry, this season compared to last season, they were one point better off. And then after they've won... Um, well, after what now is is in four. four points, so it looks slightly better. But I just the same thing happened last season. They ha- it started off on a great run. Um, you know, everyone was like, "Whoa!" Southampton, you reckon? Southampton. You reckon when they get face the big teams this year? Whoa. 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 This they, they, the highest they'll finish is sixth, and I think because I've I've done my I've done my kind of um, table thing. And I said <laughs> the Champions League spaces third, fourth, and fifth will be battled between Arsenal, Man United, and Liverpool. I love it. I love it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm How saying. dare you? <laughs> 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 I hear you going. Man, I'm mucking around. Um, they will probably not touch in the top four. Man. So yeah, I'm not saying they'll touch it. I'm just saying it, they'll they'll fight for it. They'll, they're not going to they're not going to just be like blown up. Even last year, <laughs> Everton Everton challenged for it. They didn't, they didn't really have Everything's. as much of a chance, but they still challenged. True, true. So highest I think they could finish is six because I can see them finishing above Everton if Everton don't get that fluidity. Fluidity back that they had last season. Tottenham. Mm. Are they facing any big clubs yet? That's the that's the question. Southampton yeah, South South haven't really um, had tough opposition. They so lost we, at Anfield. We, they did lose at Anfield and in the first Tottenham game. Well, right? It was it was and Tottenham. Oh, oh what a shame. But uh, I mean, yeah, the, the one at Anfield was harsh. Anfield was and that was the first game of the season as well. So, but you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. pick up to Kuman. Yeah, yeah. He's taking a team. He knows what he's doing. He's got his players in there. He knows how to let them gel well. Let's hope that they do progress well. I'd love to see them in the top four. If they finish fourth, I'll be amazed. I'll be like, yes. Imagine that. Arsenal, Man City, Chelsea, <laughs> Southampton. That's the full order I want to see. I'll be like, go on there, you saints. But uh, yeah, 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 everyone can hope. Everyone can hope. Um, well, where but, do you guys think, so how you said, Matt, where do you guys think Southampton will finish? Do you think they'll carry over? I you? agree with you Europe wholeheartedly. I, think they'll, I don't think they'll even meet Europe. I think they'll make Europe. Well, so, mm. what, Europe or Europa? Europa. Okay, for fifth then. Not Champions League. Actually, even then, I can see, wait, are they in the Carling Cup? Because I can see them. They are. Yeah. Yeah, they can, can see them having a good run. They could. Yeah, yeah, Chelsea will win it. Nah, so no, no, no. Oh, yeah, to be fair, Chelsea are going to win that. Chelsea are playing their first team in every game. I'll be at Bournemouth. I'll be at Bournemouth doing some dirt. Bournemouth top of the league in the Championship, moving on. My locals. Yeah. But, you know, maybe Europa League, I don't know. But a team that is in Europa League, who finished fifth last year yeah, was Everton mm-hmm. but bun that because fifth place right now is West Ham and again they're bracking up the points they got a point away at Stoke again mm-hmm. another big point for them Stuart Downing in my fantasy team get in got me some points my fantasy team by the way was unbelievable oh this week goodness. how many points I think, was it 95 you're or? done oh no. 
Nothing. You're done, though. No. Nah. Moving on. Oh, man. That's crazy. Moving on. So, yeah, the Hammers done well to come back because I think they were, they were behind. And, uh, you know, they did extremely well. West Ham. You know, is this the West Ham way that we were talking about? Is, it, is, this, is this what they were looking for? They're what's the West Ham look. way? I don't know. Everyone has their way. I don't know what their way is. But <laughs> they, 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 what? They, they, what? They, West Ham, that's the issue. I think last season they were playing well, but they had no one to finish off any... any Andy any. Carroll apparently is fit and ready. Oh, um, he's do, not touching do, it. Do you Sacco think... and Valencia ahead of him. Much ahead of him. Yeah? Sacco's good in every I heard Sacco's injured. Who's the injured one? Is it Sacco? It is Sacco. He injured. He was out of my team. Broken leg. I was waiting for him to get some points, but he's good in every game that he's played for West Ham. Top man. Valencia's playing really well. They've got people to finish off the chances, and now everyone else is playing well. Down in. Yep. Um, this Ama Fitano guy he's doing mm. really well so mm. I think he's all working together with them but then again it, it, you it, never know he's not going to last for, for that long it's just going to be wind tearing there but I don't see it lasting oh, sad times sad times but that's, how, that's, the, that's the way the Premier League is good on the so Hammers they're doing well at the moment and we're coming up to you know we're in November now so we'll see how it, how it t- turns around um, I do want to mention about um, Harry Kane uh, oh, top man. Top, Tottenham's top goal scorer with one Premier League goal <laughs> my goodness my goodness and that only came on the weekend, uh, sorry, on the Monday night football against Aston Villa. And I could have won so many points. I had Guzan and Vlai in my team, for goodness sake. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so, um, yeah, Tottenham, again, yeah, I, don't, I don't know what to say about them. They did get a win. I think it was a big win. For if Tottenham. Villa won, however, apparently they would have been one point behind Tottenham, which is quite What's weird. That? 14 points? Or, sorry, 13 points. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the points are, to be honest. I don't know what's going on there. But they got to Harry Kane. Did you hear the song that Tottenham, spe- Tottenham fans had? Um, he's one of our own. He's one of our own. Something like that. Something no, like I that. Didn't, I, yeah, I, didn't I heard in the Villa game anyway. Aston Villa look like a shambles. They should. They deserve to go down. Benteke, oh. you mug. Remember the first five games when you they were playing really, really well. They deserve. We were down. talking about how. No. how oh, not me. No, no, no. not me. Oh, I not need me. to clarify. I, I remember. I remember. I was like, I can assure you. Yeah. Counters and bomb the whole environment. Yeah. No. Yeah. That. I'm still a fan of that. No attacking threat. I'm still a fan of that. Everything I've predicted on this podcast so far has actually come true. I said Villa would have no attacking threat, and then they they went like five games without scoring a goal. Fair enough. Let's let's round these things up. Um. Oh, I, I do want to talk about the awards in Spain. I don't know if you lot all saw this. Um, in La Liga, they do like you know awards: best midfielder, best striker, blah blah, blah manager of the year, best goal, best this, best that, right? Um, and Atletico, no Atletico Madrid players were part of the nomination for any of these things. This That's year. a crime. It's a crime. But Simeone did win a manager of the year. But oh, he didn't win it in this podcast, did he? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, he did actually. But people like Ronaldo got that goal, the back heel goal against Valencia. He oh, got, I think, yeah. or was it Sevilla? I can't remember. He got the goal of the year. Yeah. Um, Ronaldo got player of the year, I think. And then um, Iniesta got midfielder of the year. Don't know how that oh. worked. Uh, don't know how that worked. Oh, Koke was more. And then you would have thought that's what they all thought. Yeah, we all thought Koke, Koke was going to get it. Um, and then I think Modric got best holding midfielder of the year. Um, and defense, I can't remember who got that. Oh, one he got given to uh, what's his name, Godin. Godin. He, yeah, he, yeah. Nah, he got taken out because of the allegations that's going on in Spain about match fixing when he was at Real Saragossa. Yeah. Wait, when was he there? Where was he there? 2009, I think. 2009, 2011. Yeah, they, they found out some match fixing going on there. But that's Spain for you. Mourinho wants Gerard Piquet. Have you heard about this story? Yeah. This is coming out from. It's real life. It's real. It's, uh, it's apparently it's real. Like he wants to revive his career and say, you know what, come over to Stanford Bridge and I'll, I'll make you. I'll make you. A, that's more of a replacement for Terry's on the edge absolutely love it that would be massive if they get PK PK and Cahill and then once Cahill's gone PK and Zuma I think you say once Terry's gone no PK Cahill looks like he's more long term yeah no Cahill's 28 you know I said PK and Cahill Cahill's 28 no because no you said once Cahill's gone as in like yeah in the future I wasn't thinking that didn't make sense I thought you meant that but yeah I think I'd love to see PK and Cahill back to back fair dues anyway so that, that's that's the transfer. Who knows what's going on over there? Player of the week this weekend. Have we got any contenders for the player of the week? I'm going to put up Stephen Fletcher. Ooh, I think yeah, he's had, I think he's had a great weekend. I like Sanchez. Don't get me wrong. I do like Sanchez. Sanchez is up there still. But Stephen Fletcher is is a is a yeah you know. Can we talk about that Palace game briefly? Because it was a really um, good game. I didn't watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I, didn't watch it. I, I guess so. Uh, I watched it. I watched it. it, was a good game. <laughs> Palace, it was, it was, it was it. Palace were great. Yeah, it was it was one Palace. of those games. They're going to give Man United a good game, you know? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think they'll give United I, I a good think, game yeah. on, on the weekend. Because they played really well, but, you know, Gaspar, yeah. It's just like Balassi, he runs and he does not know what he's doing. <laughs> oh, did you see some shot? Oh, which shot? I saw that shot. Oh, oh which shot? 
Like, sure it was on the like window. Yeah, the one that went out for a throw in. Do you remember that? When he smashed it. You saw it on a vine or something. Yeah. No, I don't really remember that. But he's brilliant. Like, oh, I, I, I like seeing Stephen Fletcher I like, score, I like man. The I, like scene. Scene. I don't know. I like Fletcher. Ever since Wolves, I was just like, this guy's a baller. And then, like, it, it just didn't work out for him at Sunderland. But when, he when he's fit, he's fit. You think for the Scottish team? Is it, is it Scottish, yeah. Bit, 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 but it was a. No, not over Drew. You would say By the way, yeah. we're missing Drew a great deal at Arsenal, just on a side note. But um, uh, yes, we are. Oh. Yes, we are. So, what's wrong with Danny? No, it's not wrong with Danny. Danny, it's, it's Danny. Just, yeah, yeah. Nothing, he didn't score against Burnley. Burnley. And who else did he play? It's just, you know when, when Arsenal That's attack and then you lot see that, that arc of frustration going on, yeah. we were just ticky-tacking around. Mm-hmm. Drew used to do a lot of flicking about and it would create <laughs> actual stuff. Or he, you know, no, you'd be surprised. Three games up front. The arc That's, of frustration. Yeah. Yeah, it's the best, it's one of the best terms I've ever heard for Arsenal. I love it. But, um, yeah, player of the week, guys. Who, 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 who are we saying? No no other votes? Uh, I think it's going to have to go to your man, Alexis Sanders. Yeah, you reckon? Just because I can't well, think of anyone else. Um, I'm just Sanders. thinking, yeah, let's think. got his goal, that free kick. I thought, was it Champions League? Or yeah, was last, it? Night. Last, last night. Last night. Yeah. That Hit ball, off the wall. That, that bang. Ball, that yeah. ball Sanchez, his goal yesterday. Just... You see his goal. Oh, by the way, cheeky penalty for Martel. Love a bit of that. Well, I was oh, gonna leave random stat. Wait, wait, wait. Random stat about Arteta, actually. First, ev- first ever Champions League goal in his career. Hmm. Arsenal's 500th goal in the Emirates Stadium. And Arsenal's 100th Champions League goal. Wasn't it Arteta's 50th Arsenal goal as well? Nah, I don't know where that stat came from. Because I know someone said that, but I don't believe that. I actually don't believe that. 50 is too many goals. But yeah, down the train. Ten a season. All right, so player of the week, guys. Are we going with Alexis Sanchez? Yeah, okay, Sanchez. Then. Top man, Sanchez. Come on. Hey. Ah, Harry Kane. <laughs> but in fact, he didn't even sc- <laughs> how still his goal is beyond me. So their own goal. Keep saying. Next. What's the, What's the next one? Well, speaking of own goals, West Brom scored an own goal. N- another one. Wesley. Suddenly they conceded another own goal. Had Tillemans' reaction. Had Tillemans' reaction. Was, was, <laughs> was, 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 was hilarious. Had Tillemans <laughs> oh. was furious to concede that goal. It was just the all way right. he, it's like he made a run to shoot. Like, it was so bad. It was the best goal in the world. Let's move on. Team of the week. Here's your team of the week. Who are you uh, most impressed with this weekend? Who got a good result? Who played? Who performed well that you thought, yeah, you know what? Good result. Sunderland. Sunderland. I'm going with Sunderland. 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 They, they needed, Sunderland. I think they really needed that win after those I'm last two weeks of poor defending. You're saying West Ham? 2-2 two, two at Stoke? West Ham drew. I was going to say Newcastle, actually. For them to come back 2-0 down against Stoke, actually. Robin says Newcastle. Well, if we're going to listen to them, they'll remember we're going to say Newcastle. Robin, Robin, Robin's saying Newcastle. Good hey, you know oh, what? Yeah, good 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 what's happening at the pod? Oh, with the pod. Yeah, what's going on at the pod? Remember the, the uh, yeah, first couple yeah. podcasts for, for yeah, orders? Is that, He's turned it around. What, has he come back from the dead, as they call it? Oh, I don't know. I don't, I, 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 <laughs> the thing is, is that no matter what happens, Ashley was going to keep him. So, <laughs> I think the players just thought, let's just, no, I, I let's just turn off. And you can see now, there was no need to sack him that after like those first few games. I just think He was awful, though. God I still, awful. I still I think, think he was and I still think, Newcastle are winning. I still think I think he's still got a poor team. I, I, I agree. Then they're, they're not it's not yeah, it's, like, not, it's, it's not like there. when Aston Villa Joyce, the I, sat, season, it was I like, sat there this week, yeah. I was about to put a Newcastle player in my fantasy team, and I just thought, what am I doing? Let me guess it's okay, isn't it? No, I was gonna put in um Yamat. Because he's oh, yeah, I put him in my team for a bit. He's got he's got quite a few points at the moment, but you know, leave it. So what? Newcastle, Sunderland, or who's the other one? West uh, West Ham, you said. Mm-hmm. Hands up for Newcastle. Yeah. One vote. Aww. Hands up for West Ham. Hey. One vote. Hands up for Sunderland. Yeah. Hey, West Sunderland West it is. Sunderland takes it. Big up to Sunderland. <laughs> goal of the weekend. I was going to say Alexis Sanchez. But for which goal? I can't remember, but I was going to say Oscar's goal. Oscar Oscar. Oscar's Oscar. goal Oscar. this weekend. Hands down. Oscar. I like Fletcher's finish. Oscar for an Oscar. Oscar. Line, the left foot. Oscar yeah, that was a good finish. It, it was a good finish. Oscar's finish. Nah. Oscar's Oscar. finish was good, but it's because it was Oscar, innit? <laughs> I, I don't know he could do stuff no, like that. I, I, I no, 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 no. Nah, I, I, I do. Two it. fantastic He's goals this season. Yeah. <laughs> On the like, free kick against Palace. Yeah, he deserves credit. What about Oscar? You know, I ain't feeling Oscar's a little back heel. No, it was a good goal. You know, I, no, it was clever. I beat Quartar, though. He beat Quartar. I thought the back heel was like proper, like, you know, ooh, like the Ronaldo kind of thing. But yeah. then he was just like, it was a poor shot. Yeah. And he just kind of like, just 
put it away from from Courtois, and Courtois was going this way. So obviously, once you but deflect it, it's like a deflected shot. I, I, I agree with you, but I do think he one hundred percent meant it. And it was, it was quick. Oh yeah, it's well. definitely. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I didn't say it was, it was it was fluky in that sense. Oh, I just okay. felt, felt it, it looked more like a deflected shot. Fluke, you know what? Let's just give it to Oscar because I mean, at the end of the day, if it, if it was anybody else. Who did that? Yeah, would, yeah would, if would, Sanchez did that, you'd be like, no, you like know, I keep quiet on Sanchez. Maria, I, 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 yeah, no, if Di Maria done it, oh my god, everyone would oh, play the play the year. <laughs> like, 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 when he dinked over back the door. <laughs> that goal was <laughs> naughty. I don't know how he did that. He won it though. He, he, he just cushioned the whole thing. Yeah, he brought like it's like yeah, and it still moved forward and down. I think that's so sick. So, Mr. Oscar, what's his full name? Oh, he had a funny name. So like, Oscar Dos. He's got like a, an African surname. I, mean, I hear Dos Santos from some people. Oscar but Dos Santos. And on fi- like, on he's got another one. He's got his another one. With e in it. it's like on, M- on his Instagram, or was it his Twitter? He's got an E in there. Nah, Ebo- nice. Ebono or something like that. Wow. Ebono. <laughs> some, some African name. <laughs> that's touching. But, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's this oh. week's uh, top four. Mm. Do join us again. Remember, we're on the YouTube. We are um, on the Facebook. And I haven't done the predictions. Yeah, uh, you muck. <laughs> so we're going to do some predictions yeah. real quickly. Oscar's Dos Santos. Yeah, Dos Santos. Mboba. Yeah. Mboba. 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 Um, we're going to talk about the Premier League fixtures next week. Starting off 12.45 kickoff, Liverpool at home to Chelsea. David, let's get your prediction. Chelsea. Chelsea. Oscar? Um, draw, 1-1. One, one. Draw. Ooh. Robin? Chelsea. Chelsea. Adrian? I'm going to be very, very bold. Go for it. 3-1 Liverpool. Hey! Hey! Three, one. hat trick. Boom! They have to put in a good performance. I think if, um, they have to. Go for it, Remy. If Liverpool take the lead, mm-hmm. then it could be an interesting game. But Chelsea will hold it down. So, um, hold shoot. it down. Fuck, <laughs> feel. <laughs> <laughs> so like two, 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 one or three, one Chelsea. Chelsea win. I'm going to go with a two, two draw. Um, Southampton at home to Leicester City. Southampton. Oscar. Um, Remy, <laughs> sorry, Robin. 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 No, Robin. Go for it. The man down in the south. Down in the south. The draw. Draw? Mm. Oh, interesting. Going for Southampton. Southampton, yeah, I'm going for Southampton as well. <laughs> Burnley at home to Hull. David. Oh. Burnley. Uh, oh, home win, yes. Yeah. Their first win. First win against Hull. It'll be wait, a wait, game tomorrow. I just clocked something. Yeah. Why is Southampton nowhere near Northampton? We no, don't know. It's not that far, though. No, it's far. Yeah, they are. Fam. There's London in between it. No. It's Northampton, North no, of no, us. No, no, Northampton is. No. Nah, don't confuse Nottingham. Don't confuse. I swear, it's Northampton. Just, just Northampton. Just before, Northampton. No, no, it's just before no you, man. I swear, Northampton is south, south of us, though. <laughs> Right. 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 No, Continue. Say, no, 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 no. Because my brother went uni at Northampton, so I was like, nah. Northampton? M1, M1, M1 fan. Hmm. It's not that far. Because I, I could have sworn it's all Hampshire, and I thought no, Southampton. Ah, and we leave it? Yeah, no. Anyway, <laughs> Burnley at home <laughs> to Hull. Sorry, Sorry for that tangent. Go on, go on. That tangent and a half. Oscar. Burnley yeah. Hull. Burnley oh, hopefully Hull will get a win. And I don't want Burnley to score. Why do you say hopefully? Because they, they, they haven't won their last two, and I think they're a good side. I thought you were just hating on Burnley. Yeah, I just thought... Yeah. Oh, wow. just had a shot at Burnley. Oh, I don't really care about Burnley. I, I mean, I want Burnley to go down because they're boring me, but... Mm, true. <laughs> boring. Uh, Robin? Burnley. Oh, God. Burnley? Oh, yeah. Burnley. And I'm a rating Burnley. They need to win. No, that's to win. Yeah. I mean, they've always they needed to. Win, to. But <laughs> even the Premier League will strike again. They have to win. But they just have no... There's no quality. I'm, I'm waiting for Ings. Like, yeah, I just found out. Northampton's in the Midlands. Just want to put it out there. But yeah, it's what, in the middle. What, what, what Austin is doing for QPR is what Ings needs to do for Burnley. Danny Ings! Until, until that happens, Burnley will not win the game. They don't have anyone else to relax, to, to, to get the goals. And that's the issue. I mean, they've got good players. I think Trippier, their, their right back's very good. He's, he's pretty good. He was a player of the... In the team of the season for last year's... Um, what's it called? And, and Championship. And, and Heaton's a good goalkeeper. They've got some decent wow. players. Who, who's, whose prediction is it? Oh, sorry, it's Adrian. Sorry, it's sorry. Bloody hell, Remy. Bloody hell, mate. <laughs> Um, you should have done that on your bit. Got it, got it. Burnley, Burnley. Burnley? 
Yeah, like I said, bloody hell, Burnley win. got a decent no. squad. Feel it. Feel it. Oh, oh, the algorithms. Algorithms. Feel it. Algorithms. Oh, so the algorithms. Uh, so algorithms oh. of the Premier League. Go on, Remy. Say Remy, go on. Say you say I still don't see it. Whole, whole win. I just don't see I think Burnley. how are going to murder Burnley. Murder Burnley. Remember I said that to you? Murder them. Abel Hernandez. <laughs> um, Manchester United at home to Crystal Palace. Go on, Eagles. United, United. You're saying United, yeah, David? Oh. Oscar? Um... A draw, one yeah, one, yeah, one yeah, I think. Yeah, that's good. Like you just Come don't, on, you just don't want to see him, man. You know. I nah, hate Manchester United. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> so if they were Robin, then you would be. Robin, yeah, I'm saying United. One, it, I'm going to United three one. Three one United. Uh, Adrian, comfy United. Comfy, comfy. Have you remembered the back four? Comfy United. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no Rojo, you know. I just want to put it out there. All right, you know, you know. And the oh, Fraser Campbell going back to United. Oh, Zaha as well. Oh, Zaha can't Zaha. play. Ah, oh, he oh, oh, can't even play. Zaha will be so dangerous. Listen, um, against Shaw, the way Shaw's been this you'll season, take Zaha right <laughs> you, you would have you know Zaha in a, in a heartbeat. Have him up, man, know. like Balassi. Man, like Jason Punchin. He's, he's all pink. Don't get Where's this twisted. No, he's got tech. Oh, Marouad no, 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 Shamak. <laughs> no, fam, have you seen Soccer AM? When he came in and they showed his um, skill thingy. No, he's got tech. No, all right, cool. Showboat, showboat. Adrian. Man United, you said? Yeah, United. Come United um, win? Yeah. yeah, no doubt. Man United win. I'm going to go for you a Palace no win. Doubt. Yeah, I know you said no, no doubt. doubt. I'm going for a Palace win. <laughs> come on, you. Go Eagles. Yeah, Palace win. Even if Palace um, lose, Man United will come back and win. West Ham at home to Aston Villa. It's a big one. Ooh, it's a lovely one. Home's uh, Clash of the Clarets. Go on. Oh, come on. Well, I West Ham no, batter. No, I hope West Ham batter. Yeah. The man no, down no, in Upton Park. Upton Park, yeah. Who's home, sorry? Hammers. Hammers. Yeah, come on. Yeah? Yeah, West Ham football. Full game. house, West Ham to win. All right, QPR at home to Manchester City is the evening kickoff. Manchester Saturday evening, Star. Sky Sports. Where, where, where are we? Where are Loftus. we? Yeah, Loftus. Loftus Road. Loftus Road. Manchester City. Away win, yeah? Cool. Oscar? Um, I think City will do it, but... I don't know. I just don't know with the City team. You never know, do you? You never know. Never like know. the fact that QPR QPR put yes. such a good game against Chelsea. I feel like yeah, they'll be up for it. I hope QPR can get something, but I think City will win three one. Robin? The algorithms of the Premier League. Oh, so now they now they count when it's not Man United, isn't it? But no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I said it the same Go for, for, it. for Burnley, but the Go algorithms I think QPR <laughs> a shock win. <laughs> Shock win. I can see a shock it. I can win. See it. I can see it. A shock win can happen. They've won two games this season, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Stranger oh. things have happened in the Premier League. Mm-hmm. True. I see it being tight, 60, 65 minutes, and then Yaya Tori just starts. wake up see, and just say, exactly hello. hello. <laughs> exactly Aguero finesses. Who's the keeper again? Uh, Rob, Rob Green. Green. Rob Green. Finesses Green. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> disgusting. <laughs> Green's going to get buried. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah um, Man City, Aguero's definitely going on that score sheet. So oh, I don't, I don't go on. I think, yeah, QPR will give them a tough game like they did against Liverpool and Chelsea and these lot, but it'll be too much. Under the lights, guys, don't forget. It's a nighttime kickoff. Um, but, uh, you know, sure. I, I, can't see, oh, I can't see a draw. I can, yeah, no, Man City win. I can't, Man City I can't see win. it happen, but yeah, Man City. Man City. I'm going to go for a City win just. Just. They need to click it together. All right, let's go to the Sunday. Sunday. Early kickoffs on Sundays. Four, four, four. Um, there's four games on Sunday. Bloody Laura. That's, that's heavy. Sunderland at home to Everton. Ooh, David. Interesting. Everton away win. Oscar. Uh, a draw again. Draw. Sorry to sit I'm on the thinking, fence a lot, I'm, but I'm thinking draw as well. Draw as well, Robin. Everton win. Everton win says Adrian. Mm. What's the final score as well? Go on, go. Go for Everton. Yeah, Everton. Everton away win. I'm gonna go for a Sunderland home win. Come on, Sunderland. Tottenham at home to Stoke. We. Draw. Draw. Come Oscar. on, Tottenham. Harry Kane hat trick. Oh, Lord. You think he'll start? <laughs> he probably will start, you know. He merits a place. Uh, in he, goal? Or where, where, <laughs> where's Vorm at? Yeah, I haven't seen him. Oh, he's been yeah. chilling on that bench. When he signed yeah. his contract, he knew where he would end up. <laughs> the contract says warm bench for two years. <laughs> for Lloris. Is he mad? <laughs> I don't know what he was. No. Look at Swansea now. Oh, wait, I don't... Okay. They could have done with him. Fabianski's well, been doing well. He's got five yeah, pieces. Yeah, Fabianski's in my fantasy team. But as in, as in, would, would, he, would, he, um, would, would Vaughan have been dropped, you reckon, nice. for Fabianski? I think, I think when they bought no. Fabianski, it was more like, do you know when bringing in a new keeper and they're going to bring him as number one? Fair like, I think it was oh, one of them ones. But then what was, so what's the thought of going to Spurs then? What was that about? Pantillema went to Sunderland to become the number two goalkeeper at Sunderland. Like he wasn't the number two goalkeeper at Man City. <laughs> I don't understand. I, thought, you know, I don't understand. I think that's a healthy rivalry. I think Pantillema could... 
Yeah, I think it's a more attainable. Yeah, yeah, I, I think so too. But what was, I don't know what Gus was doing. But anyway. Yeah, but I feel like if you're a keeper, no matter how good you are in training, I think you're only gonna become the first choice if the first choice slips up. Slips up, yeah. Oscar Tottenham at home to Stoke. I said Tottenham. Um, Robin. Harry Stoke Kane one nil. Stoke one nil. Oh. I'd like that. Spurs. Spurs home win. Two one. Two one. Watch out for Moses. Watch out for Juve. It's gonna be um. <laughs> I don't enjoy Stoke at all. Horrible. Oh, horrible. <laughs> no, 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 no. Last year they went bad, but this year they're a bit. Yeah. But I, I do Crouch. think. Um, <laughs> Makes you not want to like football anymore. You don't even want to watch them at all. I hate when they're on TV. I can't stand it. For that reason alone, I want something. But I do think um, (laughs) it will be a draw. It will be a draw. Yeah, I think Tottenham will lose. I think they will lose to Stoke. 2 1 to Stoke. Um, West Brom at home to Newcastle. Very big game. Interesting. Uh, West Brom at home to Newcastle. 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 The Magpies. No, no, no. West Brom. Berahino scored. Oh, West Ham. West Brom home win, yeah. Yeah, West Brom. Yeah. Oscar. West Brom was gonna bring Padre back to reality. Yeah. And Ooh. two two nil. Oh. Robin. Draw. 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 He's going draw. with draw. Uh, Adrian. Um, I thought West Brom surprised me a bit this season. Now mm. I thought, looking at the lineups, I thought they'll be doomed. I can, right, right. Uh, yeah, I can, I can see them getting some for the game. Like I'll say one one. One one. Yeah. Cool beans. Remy, look at that. Yeah, team versus team. I, I, I would say West Brom, but Newcastle have been on some good form. What's that? West Brom. Ooh. Ah, the tough um, one. Yeah, you know what? West Brom. Yeah, West Brom. West Brom. Who here has predicted Newcastle? No one. Are we all saying West Brom home win? Yeah. I said a draw. Because Newcastle have been winning, but not not impressively. Like their performances haven't been. You reckon, oh, you're, you're, you reckon West Brom will bring them all back West down to... Yeah, because I think now they can... I wouldn't say bring back to reality. Yes. It'll still be a tight win. I think yeah. maybe 2-1. But it's just... I think West Brom will perform a bit better. Yeah. I'm, I'm confused. But where is Idei Brown? Where's my Nigerian guy? <laughs> I, they're done happy with Idei him. Why? What did he do? Apparently, he's, like, he's not fit. He's not performing as well as they expect him to. Man. Don't worry, they got Victor. Is it Victor? No, Nature like B. He's, he's my Nigerian guy. I want to see him shine in the Premier League. Victor, Victor, Victor. Like Moses. <laughs> Moses. <laughs> Moses, <laughs> Moses is performing. Has, they, has anyone been pre in his performances? <laughs> Moses has been performing well for so. What, cheating, yeah? What, one guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, going, I'm going with a Newcastle away win. I think they're going to beat West Brom. Um, and the final game of the weekend Swansea will host Arsenal, 4 o'clock kickoff, live Aye. on Sky Sports. At the Liberty Stadium, Swansea. Come on, you swans. Swans. David says Arsenal. Oscar. John Joe. Um, <laughs> Suspended, I think. Oh yeah, he is, isn't he? <laughs> oh man. Seriously. No, I think I think Arsenal will just come away with a two-one victory. Yep, two-one Arsenal. Um, two-one Swansea. Two-one Swansea. Alexis yeah, Sanchez to score first. Oh. Poor Alexis. Um, Wilfred Boney will punish Arsene Wenger for his sins. <laughs> <laughs> what sin did he commit? Um, he failed. He failed to bring in the centre half. He'll punish him for that. Oh, my. Um, Remy? I still, I, I still don't think Swansea were like all that this season. I know they've got some good wins here yeah, and there. Agreed. I, I just don't think they're all that. I know Sigerson has been assisting like mad. Yeah. And Boney's slowly getting back. Stick it. In all seriousness, I see an Arsenal win. Uh, oh, has to be fit, bro. 2 2 1. Two, even 2. Actually, no. Two one or three one to Arsenal. I think after the debacle last night, Wenger will give him an ear, and I think three 0 Arsenal, clean sheet, clean well, sheet. After what? The Andalek debacle. What did I say? I thought you said after the debacle. I was like, no, the debacle. Went on a debacle. <laughs> last <laughs> night's debacle. I think I said <laughs> probably after. Yeah, he probably had a few fans. <laughs> yeah, he really, yeah, he looked vexed really. But anyway, so yeah, that's this week's top four. Make sure you catch us next week. We're on YouTube, guys. Get down on YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment, share. You get me? Like us on YouTube Facebook YouTube too, bro. And Facebook. Just click and share us on the Twitter. <laughs> Chat. Tumblr. We're on everything. Yeah? Pinterest. <laughs> I even LinkedIn. LinkedIn. <laughs> LinkedIn, the podcast. What's the other one? Bebo. Bebo. <laughs> High five. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, make sure you lock into us next week. Yeah. How? Peace. Thank you.